Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to a little randomized perfection nonsense in Stardew Valley. How are we doing today? By the way, Tiramika, don't think I don't see you. Thank you for becoming a member at the Positron level before the stream even began. What? <laughs> that's, that's wild. Thank you so much for the support and generosity. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your, your newfound emojis. How's everybody been today? Congrats on winning the Stardew Valley Fair. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's spoilers. Wait, spoilers. I did, I did partake in a... <laughs> I did partake in a uh, a charity event hosted by Salmont over on his channel. You can go exclamation point Sal, um, pop on over to his channel and and check out the Stardew Valley Fair Invitational, where uh, I played against Wickedy, Nino Kido, and Shawnee Do in all the different Stardew Valley Fair mini games. Uh, for for the chance to win some money for different charities. So, <laughs> didn't get to watch it yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's all. Yeah, I, pro I probably probably you know shouldn't shouldn't have read that one out loud. But it was still it was still a really fun time. So it was it was a very fun time. Um. Oh, my phone. I forgot to put my phone on silent. Sal did not live stream it. No, it was not live streamed anywhere. We we recorded that one off, that one off stream. But yeah, definitely definitely check it out. It was it was a good time. Good time was had by all. Hold on, I gotta go turn down my like thermostat here. It is getting unseasonably warm. What's my thermostat at? My thermostat's at like 24 degrees Celsius. That's too hot. I don't know why, how I left it there for so long. <laughs> it has gotten, it's gotten quite a bit warmer since that really cold spell the other week. So I'm, I definitely need to, to stay on top of that. That was, that was too warm. Yo, bonkers. I'm very happy to have, uh, have done my part to support the Kidney Foundation. Like I, like I said in the video, it's a, uh, it's it's a kidney disease. It's a, it's it's something that affects my family pretty pretty readily, without getting into too many details. But it's uh yeah, so it's a, an important cause to me for sure. Happy to help in whatever way I can. Either way, I digress. Definitely go check that out. And I believe I believe there's still time. By the way, um, I probably should have checked this beforehand, but. I believe there's also still time to go vote in the Stardew Valley Awards, which is a uh, an annual event put on by a 20-something loser and Joe TG, two other members of the Stardew community, two other amazing content creators, um, who are there putting together an award show to celebrate uh, the community as a whole. There's lots of different uh, lots of different people voted for nominated for. An amazing amount of different awards. If you have not voted yet, there you go. Last day to vote is January 31st. So there's still still about a week to go. So definitely, definitely go cast your vote. Make your votes known. Even if you don't have an answer for every single category, um, I would I would still recommend going in and voting for the categories that you do know. There's a lot of different amazing content creators being represented in there, so I would I would definitely appreciate you going out and making your voice heard. Every every vote counts at the end of the day. Already voted? Heck yeah! Thank you, blasted. Thank you to everyone who's already voted and to everyone who who intends to vote here. Either way, I digress. Shall we get into a little bit of fan art? Chat, we have some amazing fan art 
just just one piece of lovely little fan art to go over today. But what a piece it is. Check this out. I, I smiled so big when I saw this one, dude. Look at this. This is so unbelievably cute. Is the Powerpuff Farmers, dude? Do, 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 do. It's so adorable. I love this so much. <laughs> you got Flip, Chloe, and Beatrix as the as the Powerpuff Girls. I think it, I think this is this is so good. <laughs> Thank you to the artist who contributed this one. This is this is amazing. Powerpuff Girls was a was a staple show in my childhood. I watched that all the time. I am, I'm in love with the art style. This this is this feels like just a dream come true that I a dream that I didn't even know that I had come true. <laughs> it's really really good. Thank you so much for uh, for putting this together. Do we think the do we think the personalities of the characters fit match up here? Because was that Chloe Chloe is Blossom, Beatrix is Bubbles, and Flip as as Buttercup. I think. If I if I'm got if I've got the order of them right in my head, I think based on the little I know about Flip so far in in, in his adventures, I would I would classify Flip as more Bubbles adjacent and Beatrix as more Buttercup adjacent. But either way, I'm I'm stoked just to see this come come to fruition at all. This is super cool. <laughs> Thank you very much to the artists who contributed this, and thank you to all the fan artists who have shared fan art over the past couple of years. If you'd like to share your own, there is a place in the Discord to do just that, the fan art channel over in the Discord. Link below the stream or via exclamation point Discord. Drop it over there. Let us know how you'll want to be credited, if you want to be credited, and all that good stuff. By the way, Dragonic Moon, thank you for being a member for five whole months at the Electron level. Wishing you luck for the Stardew Awards. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't anticipate winning anything. I'm up against some stiff competition, but I'm, I'm happy to be in the in the discussion either way. So I will be I will be absolutely flabbergasted <laughs> if, if I actually if I actually pull out a win somewhere, but uh, I'm just happy to be there. You agree with which Powerpuff girl they're like more? I don't think there's any doubt that that Blossom and Chloe are are like are a good match there. <laughs> I'm dead. The other the other two I could I could be persuaded. How many categories was I nominated for in the awards last year? I don't remember. I think it was like I want to say like three awards. I believe uh, I believe it was three awards. Now we're now we're five awards this year. The Crab Messiah. I I, I I don't know what the heck is happening, but uh, please please mind the spam. <laughs> please mind the spam. I see you and I recognize you, but but this is this is. <laughs> I'm so I'm so confused right now. Do mind the spam though, please. Thank you. It's all good. It's all good. I appreciate the the passion for the crustaceans. We, we love ourselves some crabs around here. It's just when I see someone, like, posting, like, multiple quick messages in succession like that, I'm unsure as to whether they're a bot or not. And I, and I have to, I have to make sure. Now that you, I've seen you have apologized, I can confirm you're not a bot and you're just, you're just passionate. <laughs> Either way, I digress. Let's uh let's get into our dailies, shall we? Crabs are very cute. You won't hear any you won't hear any uh arguments from me on that one. Sorry, my brain is still like kind of waking up today. We'll get there though. I just got I just got to pick up some momentum, pick up some speed, start talking and don't stop talking. You just just say whatever comes to mind. Probably, well, maybe don't, because that would just be, like, a stream of consciousness in this style stream would probably be a little overwhelming. <laughs> Alright, let's get, let me load up my, my Poke Doku here. 
we do we do our dailies before we get into the actual main content this is like the uh it's like when you go to the movie theater and they got like that little short film that airs before the the feature length pr presentation this is what we're about to go into here how long did it take to set up the spreadsheet for the randomizer i think i got the bulk of the coding done for the original spreadsheet of the randomizer in like two days it was, I was, I kind of just like went all in on it. <laughs> I was like, it, it was, you know, I, I worked a lot in those two days, but I, I think, I think it was like roughly two days. All right. Let's see what we got here. Today's puzzle. It's not a master level puzzle. So we know that the, there are multiple options for each of these. Fairy psychic, psychic fairy. That could be Gardevoir, the, Gar the Gardevoir line. There's got to be another one, though. Psychic Fairy. Psychic Fairy. Are, are there any? I'm trying to think of other, other potential Psychic Fairies. Wait, isn't Galarian Rapidash a, a Fairy Psychic type? I know it's at least part Psychic type. I don't remember if it's part Fairy as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my, put, my, put my streak on the line here for this one. Rapidash Galar. Let's go! 6%. We take those. All right. Fairy Rock type. I'm thinking of Carbink, and I'm thinking of Diancie, and I'm thinking of Mega Diancie. And I feel like those are like the only three. There's probably other ones out there. Between those three, I have to imagine Carbink is the one people think of least. Diancie is like a is like a me Mega Pokemon. Not a Mega Pokemon, but like a Legendary Pokemon. 37.4 is fine by me. Um... Fairy type G Max form. The G Max forms I am not as familiar with a lot of the time. I think there is what there's Al Creamy, and maybe like Grim Snarl have a G have G Max forms. I'm gonna go with Al Creamy because I'm pretty I'm pretty confident. Yeah, Al Creamy G Max. We take that giant freaking wedding cake. <laughs> I love that design. All right, Grass Psychic. Grass Psychic is a Pokemon. There's there's Pokemon that exists that are Grass Psychic, and I'm and I can think of them. I can certainly think of them, but I'll have to come. I'm gonna come back to that one because for some reason my brain is not connecting the dots on there. Grass Rock, on the other hand, you could you could always go with a little Cray Dilly, Lilip Cray Dilly line. What's another Grass Rock type? There probably is one actually. Grass rock type, grass rock type. I'm, I'm just not coming to mind, so we go we go little leap on this one. Little little leap. 37.3%. This is almost a perfect match. That's kind of scary. Grass G Max form. Don't all the Kanto starters have G Max forms? So you could go like like Mega V or not Mega, but G Max Venusaur on this one. You could go Venusaur, you could go. Surely the Gen Gen 8 starters, the Galarian starters, also have them. So you could go, what, Rillaboom? Are there any other ones? Probably. I feel like Rillaboom has a G-Max form. Rillaboom G-Max. My man on the drums. Alright. Galarian Psychic type. A Psychic type from the Galar region. Try Why don't you try a little... Isn't an Articuno... Galarian Articuno, aren't you part psychic type? You look like a psychic type. We take those. All right. A rock type from Galar. There's there's many options here. Many options that I can think of. We're going to go Carcoal on this one because he's kind of like a funny little guy. He reminds me of Donkey Kong Country. The minecart levels, never forget. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is there... Wait, is there Galarian... B Pokemon. Is there a B Pokemon? Now's my time to shine. B Drill, you don't fit any of the categories, I'm sorry to say. Yo, early, early, um, early B underscore boss dot OGG in the, in the midst, in the midst of our dailies. That's unexpected. A Galarian G Max. B, B Drill does not have a G Max form, but Butterfree does. Butterfree is as close as we get. Wait, no, Butterfree is from Kanto. Oh, gosh. It, what what has uh or beetle or beetle there's b right in the name or beetle let's go we got there <laughs> there he is we got the b in the end we got the b connection grass psychic type though <laughs> is still is still kind of throwing me for a loop here grass psychic type your quad quadruple weak to bug 
Grass Psychic. Do -do 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 -do. I can't think of a Grass Psychic type Pokemon here. Could it be it from Gen 9? And that's why I'm not thinking of it, cause I'm not familiar with all of those in there. Grass Psychic. Grass Psychic. Is... Wait, hold on. Hold on. I think... Maybe maybe Gen 9 is the place to be. Aren't the... There's like that... Le, there's the legendary trio, Cobalion, Terrakion, Virizion. They made the Paradox versions of them. And I think they replace their fighting type, because they originally like grass fighting, rock fighting, so on, with Psychic. Didn't they do that? Or was it like Fairy? Did they, or did they go like, you know, Grass Fairy? I don't think so. I think I think it was grass psychic. Would that that would that make iron leaves grass psychic? Iron leaves. We got there. <laughs> Let's go. Executor, Celebi. These are such easy so, so much easier of answers. How did I land on iron freaking leaves, dude? What in the world? <laughs> I should have thought of Celebi for sure. That's 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 my bad. Least common. Least common was Diancie there. Calyrex for Grass Psychic. Never would have gotten that. Flapple G-Max. Flapple G-Max. Ogre Pond Cornerstone Mask. Get out of here with that. <laughs> did I get any of the any of the bottom ones? No, I did not. That's fine. That's fine. Most unique 110. I got 197. I'll take that. Almost exactly 80,000. Oh yeah, you're right. 80,000 in nine games. It's fun to see. I do know my Pokemon. I, pr I pride myself a little bit on knowing my Pokemon. I've I've uh I memorized a lot of the Pokemon and the orders that they come in. Just because I sat down one day and I was like, I wanna I wanna know like the Pokedex, like in my brain. And now I do. So <laughs> I've got a lot of memory space reserved for it. Either way, I digress. Let's uh let's do the let's do the puffertle to ease ourselves into the Stardew side of the stream here as well. What do you got for me? This could very well just be like a sunfish, honestly. Is it a pretty easy fish? Sunfish. Maybe a chub? I feel like a chub is a little jumpier than this. Okay. How about Sunfish? I mean sunfish is was my first instinct. Go with your gut. Okay, the weather is uh, yellow, which means it's all weather, which is not that not as helpful as it could be. The season and location, that's that's pretty vital information. It's not the same season as the sunfish in any capacity. It is the same time. This is probably an oceanic fish. I mean, last time I guess sunfish and it was an oceanic fish, it was the red mullet. Okay, not today, but we're getting closer. We're at least getting closer. Location being orange or yellow on the on the ocean here is helpful because that means it's available in the ocean, but also elsewhere, which is only really usually Ginger Island. Bro, it's not a flounder. It's that it's not. It can't be a flounder, can it? Flounder is available in the same season as a sunfish. I'm pretty sure, and I I feel like that the, the flounder gambit. It's not. It's not happening today. Today, today is not your day, Flounder. Ginger Island and Ocean. Could you be a sea cucumber? I don't think sea... Well, is sea cucumber available at Ginger Island? I don't think it is, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. The super cucumber is. That was definitely not a super cucumber. I'll tell you that for free. We're going to try sea cucumber. Okay. Okay. I don't think I actually you know what I think it wasn't referring to Ginger Island when it was multiple locations there. That was probably um Ocean and Night Market, right? Return of the Flounder. Could it stank not this time. The sea cucumber. Me too, Marksman. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. It's just a yellow flounder. I could be I could be cons I could be persuaded. The flounder's already kind of yellow, though. Honorary flounder. Yellow spiky flounder. Is that what we're trending towards? Everything has become flounder? Clover Course, thank you for being a member for 21 months at the Electron level, by the way. Got a stream on time for once. You're here just in time. We just got past our dailies to start off the stream. We're about to get into the into the main event here. 
Welcome, welcome. All right, let me minimize out of here and open up a little little smappy, shall we? For some reason, you think of the sea cucumber being way harder than a sunfish. Sea cucumber, it was one of the, for a while, I was of the same mindset that like the sea cucumber is like a, a decently hard fish, but I think it's just because the super cucumber is so like so much harder <laughs> that that because they look so similar, it's easy to conflate them that way. At least that's how that's how my brain kind of works. Oh no, I'm streaming. You were you were gonna do the dishes. You can do the dishes and uh, and and listen to the stream at the same time. In theory, <laughs> I won't be I won't be offended. Many many lurkers have done the same. I'm sure. Uh, oh, wait, what happened? Hold on, hold on, I gotta get to, okay, there we go, we're here. We're here, we're good, and we're ready to go catch a wood skip. Anybody else walking around with 85 large bananas in their pockets, by the way, or just me? All right. I think I'm gonna leave this one just so I can get up in sync with the rest of them again. I kind of messed that up uh, last stream when I accidentally, like, put a lemon stone in that crystallarium or something like that. You've only got 84, bana 84 bananas? Got you beat. Got you beat this time. <laughs> it's all right. I'm sure you can you can squeeze one more banana in there if you really try. Maybe like a plantain or something. All right, we need the fiberglass rod here. And re there's really no time like the present. Let's go catch a wood skip, shall we? Should not be that hard to catch a wood skip. The only other fish available there is the carp. And I actually don't remember if you can get green algae in this in the secret woods. I feel like you you can, but I don't actually remember. It's been a while since I fished in the secret woods. I think you can. I think you can. No, no, maybe you can't. I don't know. I, it doesn't matter either way because we've already caught green algae. So as long as we're avoiding white algae, we, we all know how that went last time. We're, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> The the curse of the white algae is behind us for now, and hopefully it'll stay that way. Be careful because of levels. What is this? The seaweed the seaweed is rising up against me. Can I get past, please? I'm not I'm not gonna mess with the seaweed. I don't I don't I feel like I've angered some eldritch seaweed god or something. I don't like the looks of that. I'm not gonna mess with it. All right, you wait here, Iota. I'll be back shortly. Uno, momi uno momento. Being bullied by the seaweed. See, I was bullied enough by the seaweed during the Master Angler Challenge, to be honest with you. And get that out of here, because I it, I just don't like it cluttering. All right. Um, let's fish up a wood skip, shall we? Right in the middle of the pond over there. Playing musical chairs for the Muscles birthday party. That's a carp right there. I like that interpretation better. It makes it feel less ominous. Hello? <laughs> How many wall baskets am I going to have by the end of this end of this challenge? I think this is my third wall basket here. Not a wood skip. Because, yeah, we came and got, like, a wall basket just for fun earlier. Then we got another one while catching a carp. And now we got one while catching a wood skip here. This might be the last one, unless we get another one while doing this, which does not seem likely anymore, so. <laughs> a little perfect wood skip right there. No big deal. Alright, we are getting perilously close to that fishing level. Well, I mean, 873 at 1150. It's not terribly, terribly close, but close enough to be a little spooky. That's a wood skip right there. All right, well, we're probably not going to have to come back to fish in the forest pond, like, literally ever again, so. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy to be here. No big deal, but big XP. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, I probably should, could have gone uh, training rod on this one now that I'm thinking about it. Should, should, I could reset and go training rod, maybe, because I don't think the wood skip is beyond, like, 50 difficulty. If we want to try and try and save some XP here, I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to it.
You like the wall basket? It's probably not that big of a deal. I don't think I don't think that XP is gonna break us, so. If we if we just get a fishing level up in the near future anyway, it's not gonna be a big problem. Yeah, I think we I think we leave it at that. The wall basket being here, you know, it was it was meant to be. What can you say? <laughs> Famous last words, I certainly hope not. All right, well, that's a, that's a nice, quick, easy goal to start things off here. Let's go roll a new goal. Rolling a goal less than 30 minutes into the stream, less than like five minutes of actual play time into the stream, is we're turning over a new leaf here. What the heck is going on, man? Let's do it, though. Let's do it. Was that a hiccup? Not a, not a hiccup, it was just a slight bit of, like, indigestion or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me take a, take a quick drink, though, just so I'm at my at peak performance here. It was a skip-up. Hold on, I just had to adjust my microphone for a second. I, I muted. I muted. All right. Catch a wood skip? It's rare that we get to start a stream on such an easy goal, such a night. It's, it feels nice, honestly. It's nice and refreshing. Let's see if we can keep up a nice string of easy goals just to start us off here. Maybe, maybe, maybe the randomizer's in the mood to give us a bit of a difficulty curve here, you know? Start with something nice and simple and plain like the wood skip, and just slowly build up over time to a, to a more difficult goal. Craft a life elixir. I'd say that's, that's in line. That's in line. Crafting a life elixir, not a super hard goal, but it, it's actually probably easier than the wood skip, as long as we have all the ingredients for it, so. <laughs> I'll take that. Being able to make life elixirs is actually pretty good at for, like, it could be pretty good for future Skull Cavern runs and stuff like that, too. I'm not opposed to that. We, ha we should have, I don't know, remember how many mushrooms we've saved up. But we, there was a time way back in the early part of the challenge we were, where we were checking the mushroom cave basically every single day. I don't think I sold all of those. We can buy them from our, from our, from the dwarf. Yeah, but now we can make our own. <laughs> and everyone knows that a homemade life elixir tastes better than a homie made life elixir. No offense to my homie, but but you can't beat homemade. Better have a chanterelle. Oh yeah, is it all? Which which mushroom? There's like one mushroom that's always like lacking in. Okay, yeah, the common mushroom is not the one. Is one that we don't need. We need a, we could need a morel, red mushroom, purple mushroom, and chanterelle. How dare I? Look, the home the homie is our homie is great. I would never disrespect our homie. Their life elixirs are, are perfectly adequate. But there's just something satisfying about being able to make your own life elixirs. It's, it's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. Alright, let me put away my wood skip. I don't think I... is. The, I think these fish ponds are actually... Or these fish tanks are actually full down here, aren't they? Oh no, there was room for one more. Got room for one more? Love the woods. Why is he swimming with his mouth open, though? Do a lot of fish swim with their mouth open, naturally? Just to, like, absorb nutrients through the water via... via mouth physics? Okay, where is this wall basket going? We're running out of wall space here. <laughs> this is, uh, okay, maybe I move this... Maybe I move that, and then we pop this, like, back in here. And give the... If we get another wall basket... Wait, maybe I can move the other wall basket, because I have three... I put one in the kitchen kind of randomly over here. Maybe I can do like that. And now this uh, this fish tank has like some some hair. It's got like pom-poms up there. I love that. Whales that eat krill do. Are whales fish? Or are whales mammals? We have exactly one morel, by the way. <laughs> and enough of... Uh, wait, do I have any purple mushrooms? I'm not seeing any purple mushrooms here. Did I get rid of all my purple mushrooms? Surely not. 
Surely I, I wouldn't have been so foolish as to carelessly toss all my purple mushrooms to the side. Purple mushroom. I have 28 life elixirs here. Does that count? Purple mushy. I see no, no mushroom here. That's, that's all bones. What about down here? Just in case. You never know. I did eat a purple one the other day. You're not wrong. Lots of little, like, seasonal decorations in there. Um... Check over here real quick. No purple. We're, we're batting a thousand here on these purple mushrooms. <laughs> we can check the mushroom cave. That could be an easy answer to our question. There's also the mushroom cave on Ginger Island. Technically speaking, we could go we could go there and, and have a look as well. Okay. I'll, I'll take the extra like mushrooms here regardless, but... No purple mushroom today. A thousand, don't you mean zero? Isn't the phrase batting a thousand? I've always heard the phrase batting a thousand for when you're like, you know, whiffing every shot. Which never made that much sense to me, but... <laughs> Alright. I believe. I believe. We're going to go check Ginger Island. We'll check the Mushroom Cave over there for the first time in, like, forever, I'm pretty sure. And see if there's a... Uh, and see if there's a purple mushroom waiting for me. 1,000 means you hit every shot. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> You're asking the... It's a baseball metaphor. That's all... That's all I know. It's supposed to be sarcastic. Who came up with this? These, you know, these these colloquial idioms should be more readily understandable. We're having we're having a conversation about whether it should be batting a thousand or batting zero. <laughs> Either way, the gist is there. A lot of rainbow shells. It's true. Is it just Penny and Emily out here today? That's interesting. I don't think of. Oh no, we got Jazz. Jazz and Vincent out here. Penny took the kids out for a beach day, and Emily's also here, and Leo's also there. But he's hiding in the, in the shadows. He's feeling sad today. It's all right, Leo. We'll we'll befriend you eventually. I'm sure. I'm sure that's not uh, not too far off now. Emily is chaperoning. Isn't that what Penny's there for? <laughs> Couldn't hurt to have multiple chaperones, I suppose. Let's go! Purple mushrooms! Alright. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one hay. Forgive me. <laughs> Alright. This sh this will be some foraging experience, but that's fine. We have lots of leeway with foraging. We can actually, like, take... Oh, these are, these are higher quality mushrooms. I can't take any of these mushrooms? They're all higher quality. That's incredible. Alright, well, I guess I... You know what? I can just craft the life elixir and take the rest of them. There is that way to, to clear up inventory space. That's one way to do it. I'll leave the common mushroom behind. I said, I don't think I really have that much use for higher quality red mushrooms here. They'll just take up extra space in my inventory or in my, in my, in my chests at home. Can I sell them yet? I can just ship red mushrooms. So I'm, I think I'm just going to ship these red mushrooms. What if Dubnium needed that hay? We have literally like 10,000 plus hay at home. <laughs> I don't think we're in danger of starving any of our animals anytime soon. Is the elixir tailorable? I would imagine so, yeah. We can go we can go see what a tailor's into. We have access to quite a few of them, so. What if we needed that hay? What was so special about that hay? It's been to Ginger Island. M many, uh, I mean, thanks to my own, you know, laziness of not putting hay away. I think a lot of our hay has been to Ginger Island, to be honest with you. 
might have been a ginger island goal. That probably would have been a good idea, yeah, to, to roll it on the island there. But I was excited at the prospect of tailoring. Hopefully you can forgive me. Do I have any? Is I think we already have wild bait somewhere in here, yeah. I might have already even tailored one of these. I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised if I had. We've tailored a lot of stuff these days. I have not, though. Tailor my first life elixir for a dark highlight shirt. Ooh. <laughs> I like that color, too. That's a nice color. You could definitely build something around that. For now, I'm enjoying this outfit too much, though, to, to mix it up just yet. I'll take that. All right. Well, that's a good that's a good little cherry on top of a nice, simple little goal like that. Life elixir. We take those. Moving right along. It's a it's very early to say anything or to even conjecture about this, but I I will put on the table. I think the most goals we've had, the most goals we've been able to complete in a single stream. Is, is like 13. I think we've done 13 goals in a single stream before. We're up to two already. I mean, there's there's still a long way to go before we can crest that that uh, that threshold, but... <laughs> hey there, Bex. But I'm feeling good. I'm The randomizer's feeling friendly today. Wood skip into life elixir. It's a, it's a, it's a good little stepping stone for us here. 228, 40.4. 404, goal not found. Hopefully that's not a bad sign of, of things to come here. <laughs> All right. No goal active, not for long. Three, two, one. Cook pumpkin soup. Let's go. All right. Pumpkin soup is a good one to have. Pumpkin soup is extremely, extremely good to be able to make ourselves... It's just it's just a nice buff food for for skull caverns dives, and we don't have any like easy access to it other than this. So, Robin and Sebastian would be so proud. We only got this goal because we befriended Robin, so because I'm pretty sure that's how you get the recipe, right? So I certainly hope she's proud. Do we have enough milk to make it? I think I think we'll be all right on the milk front. It's just milk. Is it just milk and pumpkin? It's literally just milk and pumpkin. Okay. I can make that happen. We got ten pumpkins here. What if I made five of them into pumpkin soup? <laughs> just just to say I did. I just I just wanna be a, I just wanna be a little chef today. I should probably I should probably Well actually I'm gonna be planting pumpkins next season anyway, so. For the for the potential of the giant pumpkin. So so I'm I'm already uh I'm not- I'm not worried about this. Boom. Five pumpkins. I am a sous chef! Ooh! <laughs> Maybe I can open my own restaurant sooner rather than later. Little sous chef. Tailor me a pumpkin soup as well to celebrate the occasion. What kind- what kind of hat do I get from- from Hat Mouse for sous chef? That's my shirt. That's the shirt I started with. <laughs> Isn't this Beatrix's first shirt? She was always one with the pumpkin soup. Who knew? <laughs> that's amazing. I'm pretty sure that's like literally the exact same shirt. I want to see them side by side if they're if they're in here together. Yep, that's them. <laughs> Incredible. Is there a max number of items that can go in a dresser? I don't think so, or at least not that we're going to be able to reach within our lifetime. I love it. Alright, um... I will go check what hat that is that we just unlocked for Sous Chef, but I'm feeling like I should roll a new goal first. Because the roll, the, the momentum is carrying me far. I feel like we're, we're doing alright here. Let's not give up. Uh, let's not give up on this yet. I'm getting. I'm getting high off the dopamine from <laughs> from rolling so many goals here. Cook a pumpkin soup. I know I'm gonna come crashing down the moment I see something that's that's more long term here. But 
I'm enjoying these uh, these nice simple goals. We haven't even slept yet today. We've gotten three goals in this single Stardew Valley day. Katie O'Neill, welcome on in. Good to see you. What year are we on? Exclamation point year. I believe it's 27. All right. On a roll. Hey, speaking of roll, roll me a new goal, please. Ship Coral? No problem. No problemo. I'm pretty sure I got I got some coral in the chest, and if not, we'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> Easy peasy. Easy pumpkin soupsy. Ship coral. Coral! Coral! Where's backpack? <laughs> As, have you have you seen this backpack? Put it on a missing poster. This backpack has been missing for 27 years. Alright. If I were to put coral anywhere, it would be over here. We got seven bits of coral. I will ship exactly one of them in my mini shipping bin. And then I will go and check out what, what hat is available to me now. Wait, Iota, where'd you go? Did I I left I left Iota somewhere. Okay, Iota's Iota's off on her own adventures now. She's free. She's free at last. Uh I'm gonna take Oh she's a she's down at Willie's because I went to Ginger Island. You're so right. You're so right about that. The sous chef achievement unlocks the plum chapeau. Ooh, I love the plum chapeau. It's such a dapper hat. I'm excited. I'm excited for that one. Get me down to this hat mouse this instant. Missing path. <laughs> it's okay. We'll we'll fix it eventually. Maybe not today, maybe not, not tomorrow, but eventually. Eventually the pathing will be the pathing issue will be resolved. Once we're able to craft lightning rods, I feel like our, our pathing issues are just gonna skyrocket. Or not not the issues, but they're gonna they're gonna plummet themselves, I guess. Plum chapeau. Looks alright. It's like Concerned Ape didn't want you to wear this hat. Why is why is the description just looks alright? <laughs> you got all these little, these little amazing, these little hats that have all their intricate descriptions about how they look and how they can accessorize, and then you just got this one. Hey, it looks alright. It's fine, I guess. Plum chapeau me. Ooh, it looks, a, it looks a little weird from the front, but from the side, she's kind of slaying. From the, oh my god, I love this, I love this. <laughs> Maybe it's a reference. It could be a reference, I suppose, yeah. Just a reference I don't understand, possibly. Yeah, you could you can make a pretty sweet outfit out of this one for sure, the plum chapeau. You can make something very fancy. Looks like Cooking Mama's bandana from the front. You know I see it. I do see it. I should play Cooking Mama sometime. Chat, is Cooking Mama good? Is it fun? I think my only interaction with the Cooking Mama franchise in any capacity is from watching Jaden Animation's, like, speedrun video about it. And it looked fun during that. But I've never, I've never gone out and actually played a Cooking Mama game myself. Cooking Mama is goaded. I should speedrun it. Isn't like the like all gold medals speedrun that Jaden did? That's like, didn't that take like six hours? <laughs> I mean, I, I I you know compared to some Stardew speedruns, that's just a, that's a walk in the park. Burnt apple pie percent. That's more my speed probably. It, it, it's just a little stepping stone to get to get into things here. All right, I think I can just go to. Well, I'm gonna grab some hay. Actually, no, we can wait to grab the hay tomorrow. It's fine. And we just go to bed here. Wait. Oh, I thought I thought this was Pi down here for a second. I just saw the yellow. Where's Pi? Where Pi, you're sleeping up here? You're sleeping up here, Pi? I can I can get behind that.
We shipped some red mushrooms, but also a sneaky little piece of coral there. Hello, sir. We're so rich. <laughs> just a few more mushrooms, just a few more mushrooms, and we'll be we'll be where we want to be here, as far as money goes. 378 gold. Let's go! Did I ship the coral? I did, yeah. It's, it, it should be in our shipping collection. There you go. Shipped one. A colony of tiny creatures that clump together to form beautiful structures. That's so cool. That's so cool that that's like a thing that really exists in real life and it's not like made up fantasy. Let me go fill up my hay real quick here and then we'll roll ourselves another goal. What do you say to that? Damn. Literally rolling in dough. We could, def we could definitely open up a, a Scrooge McDuck style swimming pool with all our money. Oh, that's true. I should I should make sure the Junimos harvest today. Good call. Good call, Sarah Soda Pop. Also, today is our last check for Giant Melon. We have not gotten a Giant Melon all season. Today is the last possible day it could have happened. So, fingers crossed on that. But before we get into that, let's get a new goal, shall we? Coral shipped. We we might be due for a more difficult goal. It's all I'm going to say, or at least a longer goal. This first few, they've eased us in nicely. Wood skip, life elixir, pumpkin soup, and coral. We might be... Is goal, is goal number five going to finally throw us for a loop here? Ship a beat. Drop the beat. I will, I will drop that beat right into the shipping bin. Don't you worry about it. Drop the beat, baby. All right, B E E T. That spells beat. I'm gonna go drop a beat real quick, but not until I've told the Junimos to to get on this giant melon grind. Not giant melon, but no giant melons, unfortunately. The giant cauliflower stands alone. It's all right. Get to harvest in my little buddies. And uh, we'll see you come fall, I guess. Let me let me clear out some of the some of the riffraff around here. So many little pine trees. We can beatbox. Liter literally beat in the box. We're beatboxing today. All right, do I have beats down here ready to go? Probably somewhere, right? Yeah, I've got 212 beats. I will ship these 16 gold quality beats. And uh, and call it a day, I suppose. Look at all those pumpkins. I didn't even pay attention to the pumpkins, but we, we, we definitely did grow them on a previous season, so I'm not surprised if we have a lot. We're gonna have pumpkin soup for literally years. Have a good one there, Spotsy. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Have a great night. Take care. Wait for Junimos to finish. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to bed just yet. Don't worry. I was, I was, in case anyone was concerned, we're not going to bed quite yet here. We gotta wait for those Junimos to finish up. Uh, I guess I'll put away my fishing rod for the time being. Aren't we going to get bored of the daily goals? I think we've we've slummed through enough of the non-daily goals. We've done our fair share of befriending. We've done a lot of like the more long-term goals, especially early on in the challenge. I think I think we've earned some daily goals here. I'm not I'm not opposed. I forgot we fertilized all this by the way. This this whole field is is nice and and ripe of, with fertilizer.
I could preserve this fertilizer by, like, planting a bunch of seeds today, couldn't I? If I just planted a bunch of seeds, and then, like, they just, like, died when, when fall came around. Or I could plant some wheat, I guess. I could plant wheat seeds, because they wouldn't die in fall. But then I would lose a few days of potential giant pumpkin harvest. Do I leave? I, I guess I can move the melons out of here. That is a that is a nice amount of gold quality melons, by the way. Holy moly. Penny's gonna be happy when I finally get to befriend her. Why not cranberries? We can't plant cranberries in the in the summer here. We have to wait for fall in order to be able to put them in the ground at all. Do not compromise the giant pumpkins. Yeah, I feel I feel like I don't know. I wouldn't want to waste too many days, but I also kind of want to preserve. And it's fine. You know what? We have we have the money. We can buy more fertilizer. We'll, we'll just buy the fertilizer. We're, we're, we're in a lucky enough position that money is not really an issue, so I, I don't see a reason. The only thing we're saving by, you know, preserving the fertilizer there is our own time. And I, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're not in the business of necessarily saving that much time around here. <laughs> this is far from a speed run. This chest is so wonky, dude. I need to, like... I can def I could definitely consolidate this chest with with a few other things, but for now I'm just gonna do that. We need to do a little organization at some point here. Ship the silver eggplant. Good call. Good call, honestly, and then I can put all the melons together. Yo, who said it? Funny fox? Good call. I can we can definitely ship a silver eggplant. Get it out of here. Anything else I can I can take out of here? I'm gonna take this coconut out. Because I'm pretty sure I can put that over with, like, this chest here. Don't forget the beet. The beets have been shipped, I believe, already. 16 gold quality beets. And a solitary eggplant. We can make more chests, that's true. But I want to be careful about chest overload. We already have enough chests that if we need to, like, search them, it takes a little bit. So I got to be careful here. Of course, I guess that could also be fixed by going around and doing a full organization. Here's my deal. Here's my deal with you for you, chat. A trade trade offer. You receive you receive one day where I organize all the chests and consolidate everything nicely in a satisfying way. I receive one backpack upgrade goal. That's 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 when that's gonna happen. When I actually have space to be able to like move things around between chests with my backpack, I think that's uh <laughs> that's the time to do that. Can't I build a shack for organization? Do you mean a shed or a shack? I guess I could go either way. Well, a, sh a shack would be like a cabin, but all right. Um, we're good to go here, right? Backpack will be the last goals. <laughs> Say psych right now. All right. Yeah, I don't feel like we need to wait for the Dance of the Moonlight jellies tonight. We don't need any extra seafoam pudding, and you know, we've seen we've seen it enough times already. Exclamation point jelly. All right. For some reason, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. I think we're good. Let's go. 2400 gold. See a moon a single moonlight jelly. All right, and the diamonds are officially synced up again. That feels good. All right. Well, before we get on with our pumpkin planting party parade, let's go roll a new goal. <laughs> Let's do this. Previous goal officially done. Ship a beat. It was it was perfectly timed. We ship a shipped a beat going right into fall. It was like it's like it was meant to be. It was meant to beat. Finish me. 
41%, 231 goals complete. We are we are cruising up to that 50% milestone. No time like the present. Bam! Ship an egg white? I can ship an egg white or I can ship a white egg. <laughs> The Prophecy. I think this is one of the few eggs we have left remaining. This is a small white egg. Small white egg. You just gotta make- I have to make sure it's white. When are we gonna ship an egg? Open parentheses yolk. Ship- hopefully we have some egg whites. We have some white eggs. I don't know if we have any egg whites though. Ship them all. I don't think we're going to ship them all. We want, we want to save some for cooking, so I'm probably only going to ship, like, one small white egg. We have access to a lot more large white eggs than we do small white eggs. I'm pretty sure. I think all our small white eggs... We might have some back in the in the coops and stuff, but we have 44 right here. So I think we just uh, take advantage of that. I want to see. We've shipped, all, we've shipped both brown eggs... We'll have shipped one. We, we need to ship the large white egg. We've shipped the ostrich egg. We've shipped the void egg. Are there any eggs missing that we haven't shipped? And don't say golden egg, because that's not even in the shipping collection. Oh, duck egg. Duck egg. Wait, have we shipped a duck egg? Have we shipped a duck egg? I don't think we've shipped a duck egg. I think you're right. Blue eggs. Dino egg is not part of the shipping collection. Uh, that one's in the artifact collection. We are waiting on Dubnium eggs and large white eggs. That's it. Buy the wool left of feather. Buy the wool left of feather. It's a riddle. Left of feather. Buy the wool. I'm going to take your word for it. <laughs> All right. Above blue jazz. I just want to. I just want to see it now. I, I want to see it for myself. Above blue jazz. There it is. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Wait. What's my goal? Oh yeah, I gotta ship the white egg. All right, done. It was, just a, it was such such a non goal. I I just completely forgot about it. All right. We're gonna spend more time doing our little side quest of of giants giant pumpkin hunting than we are worrying about our goal today. Dino Mayo is in, is in the shipping collection, that is true. We are one little step away from an Iridium quality hoe. That would be so nice. Just, just, for, just for these purposes here. Mobby, welcome on in. Back from a friend's birthday party. Hopefully, hopefully it was a fun time. I imagine it would be. I should have done that like over here. That's fine. I would probably rather get a an axe upgrade than a, than a an iridium hoe upgrade first here, though, just so I can. I mean, I want both so that I can till these fields in peace and not have to hurt my brain trying to trying to suss all this out once we get an axe upgrade we'll be unstoppable that's how it feels in the base game too you get your axe upgrade and you can get all the hardwood you ever pleased you clear out all these things that have just been your way for so long in our case it's just it's just been just been a little a little bit longer than in a casual playthrough not that much longer Yeah, def definitely not opposed to an axe upgrade. What else has the randomizer given us today? Past the wood skip. We had to craft a life elixir, cook pumpkin soup, ship some coral, ship a beet, and today we shipped a small white egg. And then we're waiting to waiting to see what comes next. It's been a, it's been a pretty tame day with the randomizer so far. It can only last so long. 
There are only three truths in life. Death, taxes, and the Stardew Valley Perfection Randomizer will make you cry. Eventually, given enough time. I think I got everything here. I, for I also forgot to get my watering can, but that's okay. I need to come back here anyway with the seeds, so... I think 26 years is more than just a little little bit longer. In the grand scheme of the universe, 26 years isn't that long. Um, what was I looking for? Do I have any spare fertilizer? I do not. Do I have any spare pumpkin seeds? I don't see them, so. Okay, let me go grab my watering can. Gold gold star watering can as well. I forgot we got this nice shiny new up new watering can for the season. Let's go. Hold on, any birthdays coming up? Any birthdays? Penny's birthday is tomorrow. Look, I'm not in the business of asking for friendship goals, but we did just harvest a whole bunch a whole bunch of gold quality melons. Penny's birthday is literally tomorrow. Randomizer, if you're listening out there. I'm just saying, I'm I'm not I'm not, yeah, I'm not even saying. You know what? I'm not even saying. I'm just I'm just saying, you know, put two and two together. <laughs> it's, you know, it could be written in the stars. You could do an amazing you could give me an amazing favor here. All right. We don't need 138 pumpkin seeds. How many do we need? We need 127 pumpkin seeds because of the presence of a giant cauliflower and two spots taken up by a meteor. It's halfway into our field there. Give me... Should we go speed grow or should we go fertilizer here? Because speed grow would give us theoretically more days to get the... Um, to get the giant pumpkin, right? If we if we grow the if we grow the pumpkins faster, like we don't really care that much about the quality of the pumpkins. I feel like speed grow is probably our, our better play here. Let's do it. Emily, the sounds of Emily dance was guiding me. Speed grow, heck yeah. I feel like this is the ideal end case for so many Stardew farms is you know you get to a point where you have so much money that you're just planting crops for the love of the game not not necessarily to make more money <laughs> we could all we could all be so lucky to be living beatrix's lifestyle here where you're just doing these not not for the sake of pure profits but for the sake of pure joy the pure joy of the potential of seeing a giant pumpkin somewhere on your horizon I am Canadian, yes, yes, yes. I am a Canadian. Let me just hold on, hold on, let me just take a quick swig of my maple syrup. I'll dip some of my poutine into into the maple syrup and, and take a big a big chug here. What's all that about, eh? Have I have I successfully proven that I'm that I'm Canadian enough? <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Actually, you know what that reminds me? I should turn off harvesting here before I forget. Scare away the elk knocking at your door. Elk and or moose. And, you know, joke's on you. I don't have a door. I live in an igloo because I'm Canadian. We, we love... We love lampooning stereotypes around here. No, no one says a boot. I've met a few people that say a boot. 
It's definitely not the norm, but but it's definitely not super uncommon either, at least not in my experience. Maybe it depends where you live, I guess, like in which part of Canada. I have missed a single speed grow somewhere. And eyes like a hawk. I'm looking. I'm, I think I, I... Wait, speed grow spotted? Let's go. All right, we got it. Ontario accent is more pronounced. I would probably agree with that. I feel like the most distinct Canadian accent, like the one you're probably going to notice the most, is from Nova Scotia. Even even amongst like other Canadian accents, Nova Scotia is its own is its own thing. Like if it's your first time meeting someone from Nova Scotia, it can be it can be hard to keep up with what they're saying. I feel like a lot of a lot of people with like heavy Nova Scotia accents, it sounds it sounds like they're just like talking so fast that it's like it like it hurts my brain to keep up sometimes. You get used to it though. Now go to bed and roll a new goal. In due time, we got we got to water our pumpkins here. We've come, you know, 90%, 90% of the way. Might as well finish that last 10%. Worst thing, Quebec accents. I mean, I might have a bias there, because I've, I mean, I... I took, like, 13 years of French immersion in school, so I'm familiar with uh, a lot of, like, Quebec slash French accents. So I'm not, uh, it's not, not as bad for me, but I can understand it being a, a tough one to parse if you're not used to it. You never knew you could stack secret notes. There, there's really no reason to in the, in the, in, in, in casual play, which is probably why, why you didn't know. All right, there we go. The pumpkin field is looking mighty fine today. Look at this beautiful field of pumpkin seeds. I can smell it already. Do you smell that? It's the smell of giant pumpkin seeds. Some Somewhere in that mix, there's a giant pumpkin just waiting to happen. You know it to be true, don't you, Pi? Did I just call you a filthy casual? I think you, you, you're you the one who used the word filthy. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with being a casual play th player, if that's what your prerogative is. I'm a casual player of many things. I casually picked up and played a little bit of, a little bit of lemon cake the other day at, at chat's behest. Chat. Why didn't she tell me about lemon cake sooner, by the way? I picked it up like the day after I I streamed. Like I guess it would I think it was literally yesterday, right? I picked I was like I looked it up on Steam. I was like, I should look into lemon cake. I picked it up and now and I played it for like two hours and I was like, I got I gotta stop myself now, otherwise I'm gonna waste the entire the entire day. Just playing this game. It was, it was an amazing time. What the heck are these birds, by the way? I feel like I've never seen this. These little, like, Atari birds just flying across the screen in the distance? <laughs> what is... This is like, uh... The, what's that, like, Game of Life? The Game of Life with, like, all the squares that are blipping on and off? That's what this, that's what this reminds me of. I've never... I feel like I've never seen that before. I guess if you just hang it on the screen, maybe if you hang it on the screen for long enough, you just start to see like more and more like weird stuff. You've never seen. I mean, I mean, maybe I've just maybe I have seen them and I've just never paid attention to them. Just let them vibe. I'm not. I'm not harsh in their vibe by any means. I'm just saying. I'm just making a note. I'm making a mental note for myself. That is so. In case I ever find myself on a Stardew-based trivia show challenge and they show me that sprite I will I will know where it's from it's fall they're migrating 
Do they only show up in fall? Or is that just... Or are you... Are you messing with me right now? Fall outfit time with the plum hat. I'm still kind of in love with our current outfit. I, I want to I wanna keep it around for a little while longer. Either way, I digress here. We have officially shipped a white egg. I'm uh, sorry, an egg, open parentheses, white, close parentheses. That egg was, was certainly white. A small little white egg. Now safely in Lewis's possession. To do with uh, what he what he will, as long as he gets me the money for it. Which he already did, so you know. Looking pretty. You're voting backpack upgrade as always. It's in here. It's somewhere in here. This the backpack upgrade. Every time we hit this, there's a there's a chance. We roll those dice. <laughs> We could also get a walnut room. We could also get a Fector's challenge. We could also get a another level up, a tool upgrade. We could even get drink the iridium snake milk. Sure, why not? You know, I'm feeling a little. I'm feeling a little like a skull cavern dive today. I'll take that one. Iridium snake milk. That's that's not one that was even on my radar, but here we are. I guess we, we were talking about secret notes a second ago. <laughs> Iridium snake milk. Get some snake emojis in chat. Mr. Chi, what did you do to those those poor snakes? <laughs> Let's go get it. Floor 100. Floor 100. We could, we could do floor 100 no staircases. That, I mean, we have lots of staircases. We could we could whip this goal out real quick, or we could go the fun way and try and do it. Try and try and get down without uh, without any staircases here. I'm kind of feeling inclined to do that honestly, because like we've been away from Skull Caverns for so long, it would feel just so like. It would feel so wrong to like go and do and do it. Now that we have some leeway with uh, with mining experience and stuff, it would feel so wrong to do it with just staircases. Yeah, we do it. We do have very little combat XP to work with, so we'd have to avoid killing monsters. Um, but we can do that. That's fine. We we just have to go in well prepared. What if we roll Penny next? Alright, well first, let's check what the luck is like today. This could inform our decision here. Chat. Chat. I don't know, I think the game's trying to tell me something here. It's, give, it's giving me max luck. <laughs> I will bring stairs. Yes, I will bring stairs for sure. Okay. Let's... Let's, let's sort out what we're gonna do here. I will bring stairs just so we can, you know, make sure this works out just fine. Let me put away all the stuff I do not need. An emerald for Penny. All right, we don't need the gold scythe. We do need the pickaxe. We don't need the hoe. We don't need the axe. We don't need the hay. We will need the bananas for um, recovery purposes. We will need... Do we take pumpkin soup here? Do we take pumpkin soup? Or do we take crab cakes for the speed? I think we go... Um, well, I'm going to take Homie's sword here, just for defensive purposes. I'm not going to bring the dagger because I'm not worried about actually, like, fighting anything. I'm merely worried about defending myself, which the... which Homie's sword is good for. Why do I have 20 slingshots? That's a slingshot with 20 bananas in it. Speaking of... Give me those bananas. I have right-clicked and retrieved 20 bananas. <laughs> Um, what else do I want here? A single crab cake? I mean, I can't do crab cakes and pumpkin soup because you can't have two foods with different buffs. Do I need to read the note and wait a day? I don't think I need to wait a day. I think I just need to read the secret note. I think, I think immediately once I read the secret note, it becomes active. We'll, we'll find out, though, because I'm going today, so... <laughs> We'll do a little experimentation anyway. Yeah, I think pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup. I don't know if I need to bring all my pumpkin soups. I don't know how long they last. 
pumpkin soup and triple shot, I think is a is a good combo here. Luck and speed. I think the defense is honestly more important than the than the speed is. Um given that we're not gonna be able to fight back against a lot of the monsters. Two should do for the whole day. Alright, we'll take two. I'll bring all the triple shot just in case. Lucky ring over glow ring. We'll sort out the rings in a second here. Um, I'll bring the life elixirs and all these bananas just so it's, it might be overkill. It probably is, but it's I'm better safe than sorry, right? Especially because I'm not going to be fighting back, so. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna save the inventory spot. I'm not gonna bring the life elixirs. Okay, we need that. We need we need the staircases as well. True. We'll just bring bring the full stack of staircases. Definitely not going to use all of them, but good to have them. Um, bombs. We don't have explosive ammo. I could bring. I should probably bring some bombs though, right? Mega bombs, regular bombs. I feel like regular bombs is probably a good call here. Mega bombs are a little too too big, probably. Do it like this, yeah. Iridium snake milk. It's it's a heck of a goal, that's for sure. How much XP do we have to spare for mining? We have uh, a lot. Like we have two, so we have what, like thirteen, like twelve, twelve hundred and thirty-six, twelve hundred and thirty-six mining XP to spare. Skull cavern fit check. Okay, first let me. I'm gonna I'm gonna down a triple shot just so I'm running around a little bit faster here. Let's go grab. We need some boots here. Mermaid boots. Is immunity that big of a deal in the in Skull Cavern? I'm trying to think. What debuffs you in Skull Cavern? Really, it's really just slimes, right? We don't have we don't have the slime charmer ring. That would be that would be huge. <laughs> It's really just slimes. Dude, we could go dragon scale for the mat for max defense bonus, or we could go mermaid boots for for high immunity here plus some defense bonus. Yeah, I mean, we might be running through some slimes and stuff. All right, this, that's fair. This is fair. Swap those off. Um rings. We could go lucky ring plus um, our combined ring here is the immunity band plus the protection ring. We could also we could go phoenix ring instead. We, do, we, do we prefer lucky ring or phoenix ring? Given the fact, I mean, I mean, we're gonna have the food. I think we're probably fine as long as I stay. As long as I'm smart about it, we shouldn't need the phoenix ring. So I think we go lucky ring on this one and do a little something like that. Do not drink the triple shot, please. Okay. Are we good then? Are we good? New hat. I'm still I'm still enjoying this outfit though. <laughs> I'm still enjoying this outfit. Have I read the note? I have not read the note yet. Want to sleep a night to save all the setup? It's a it's a an, it's a star drop luck day today though. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna waste it here. I could I could do this setup a lot faster now that I know now that I know what I'm getting into. It's just it's been so long since I've done Skull Cavern that I need to <laughs> that I need to I need to refresh my brain on it. Okay. Someone is waiting for you on level 100 in the Skull Cavern. Why is it so staggered like this? It's like Mr. Chi, you're like you're reminding me of like Doki Doki Literature Club here. What is this? This is this is a little spooky. Farm warp totem. I don't know if we have any farm warp totems to be honest with you. Oh, we do. We have 18. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Well, should I bring one? It it takes up a valuable inventory slot. 
but it'll let us it'll let us stay out there longer, so it's probably a smart idea. It'll let us go to like the bitter end, basically. Okay. Are we good? Is this our setup? We got we got weapon to defend ourselves. We got the pickaxe to obviously obviously we got staircases we got bombs we got food to survive we have buffing foods and we have a way to get home quickly i can just pass out that's true put her totem in the chest outside the mines take a chest to the mine entrance i could be persuaded i can be persuaded to bring a chest with us here Oh gosh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. All right, it's fine, it's fine. I just wanted to get my screenshot from a from a fancy new location. Okay. We're good here, we're good. I still have 17 where those came from. <laughs> All right. That's so good. We're allowed to craft chests now, believe it or not, yeah. That was only our second one crafted ever, but <laughs> feels so freeing. I think we're good. I think we're good. 7 a.m., reasonably early start to Skull Cavern here. I'm going to lock it in. Unless, unless anyone has any final objections running into the chapel like Shrek at the end. To, to tell us that we're doing something wrong here. I think we're good to go. All right, let's do it. Sorry, Pi. Didn't mean I was trying to pet you, but I must have already pet you. All right, we will drop a quick little chest up at Skull Cavern here. We'll put away the warp totem inside because we don't need it while we're actually spelunking here. Let's do this. Make it nice and purple in honor of the Iridium Snake Milk. I think it's, I think that's probably the, the most accurate match here. We read the secret note. We will consume pumpkin soup. We already have the triple shot down. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? All right, I'm a little, little spooked with, I'm, I'm just spooked by, by serpents. I'm going to try to avoid using staircases as, as where I can, but, but the serpents definitely are a little spooky here. How many hits does a rock take in Skull Cavern? Three hits? I can I can manage that. I'm gonna get as close as I reasonably can without staircases. Do floor 100 here. I, I apologize to to all the chatters at home. I might have to you know avoid uh <laughs> might have to not pay too much attention to to chat right now because Skull Cavern is gonna have my full focus for the foreseeable future here. All right, we avoid slimes. Okay, that's that's it's only one serpent. I can I can I can make do I can make do with that. Please let me not die though. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is this is a little, all right. We're literally on floor four, and we're and we're being a little bit overwhelmed here. It's one serpent. One serpent's not a big deal. Do I bomb there? I think I bomb there. That's two serpents. Okay. In that case, that was a lot of experience. Holy moly. Um, staircase out of here. It's fine. Don't be don't be too proud to use the staircase if need be. Spiral floor. I was I was gonna say we staircase out of a spiral floor, but it's <laughs> turns out I didn't need to. Leave me alone, please. Okay. Cave carrots. Not really that helpful here. Staircase me out. We're probably going to end up staircasing through a lot of this, I'm starting to realize. What is this floor? Get me out of here. All right, mummies. Mummies I can I can handle. Mummies I am not afraid of. You hear me? I'm not afraid of you anymore. All right, we, we drop a bomb. Drop it like it's hot. Okay. Staircase me. Staircase. Show me a staircase. No staircase? Not, not, I'm trying to avoid that amethyst for... Mining XP, even though I have a lot of mining XP to spare. Bro. Alright, fine. Fine. You're gonna- Oh my gosh. Uh, this get me out of here? That was 40 damage from a mummy, I'm pretty sure. Don't drink the triple shot. Eat the banana. Alright. 
That's a yikes. Alright, we gotta be careful of the mummies. We have to be very careful of the mummies. Let the let the soothing sounds of Stardew wash over you. Should I take the coal? I'm gonna take the coal over these cave carrots, to be honest with you. It might not be long for this world, but it's, it's technically more valuable. Okay. Just, just use the bombs. Use, they're there. They're there for a reason. Use them. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Don't mind me. Okay, yeah, okay. This is this is staircase protocol. One. This is not staircase protocol. This is why you explore. All right, jump on in. Send it. I fell five levels. That's big. That's so big. I. It's been so long since I've been in Skull Caverns that I completely forgot that was even a thing that could happen. <laughs> This is why you explore and you don't just staircase all the way to the bottom. For, for adrenaline pumping moments just like that. Alright, this is a very bombable situation. Paying close attention to my mining experience. It, it can go up fast if you're not careful around here, that's for sure. Um, Alright, we, we take the hit on this one because there's really no way for me to get away from it. Okay, mummies are very scary. As long as we don't walk into them, we're fine. There's three extra XP and a hole, though. So worth it. So worth it. Three more levels down. No problemo. All right, we're at 21. Let me drop one right here. I feel like that's pretty good. Be on the lookout for... Okay, my, my triple shot's about to run out. I'm just going to nip that in the bud before I forget about it. Get me up here. Oh, there's a staircase. Just a little freebie. We take those. Can I move the goal overlay down? Yes, I can. I, I glanced over a chat and I, and I saw that. All right, hold on. Saved. Saved. <laughs> All right. My bad, chat. It, like I said, it's been a long time since we've done any Skull Cavern Spelunking here, so. <laughs> Should we zoom out even just a little? This is probably, I mean, we, we zoomed out for Dust Sprites. We're, are we not going to zoom out for this? I'm starting to get more used to playing on a zo on, on zoomed out display. Still not my favorite, but, but for staircase purposes, I think it's it's a reasonable idea, yeah. Okay. That's spooky. Very spooky indeed. I tried to block the explosion. Like I'm <laughs> like, what the heck? I'm trying to parry the explosion like I'm Neo or something in the Matrix. Okay. Get me out of there. Free XP is fine for, for a staircase, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. I love the crates and barrels. Um, bone shard's probably worth it over the clay here. No staircases in sight. Lots of bugs. Oh, that, that gold ore could be a little bit of XP. Okay, that's fine. A lot of omni geodes. Off the back of that. Any ores? Silver rocks are guaranteed mining XP. They are, yeah. Any of those, like, these... The rocks that look like... Um, they're really not going to give me any hunt. Any of the rocks that look like this are guaranteed mining XP. That's true. This is... I mean, I want to bomb this, but that's a lot of XP. You know what? We, we're still we're still early on in our mining mining XP escapades here. It wasn't... There was no staircase. No staircase. It's fine. There's the staircase, okay. Um, let's go for a little bit of a jaunt here. It's been a slow few floors. We're only up to 26. We're a quarter of the way down. And we're at 1 p.m. here. Drop one there. I never claimed to be good at skull caverning. <laughs> But I'm not the worst at it either. Okay, we take those. Ooh, little treasure room. Okay, what do we got here? 
dark cowboy hat? <laughs> they didn't forget about me. They remembered my favorite dark cowboy hat. Yes. I got to take another one just for just for old time's sake here. New hat. Well, not new hat. Technically old hat. That, that's definitely old hat. All right. Pepper Rex. Freaking me out. I forgot you're a monster that's in this game. Uh, let's let's bomb. Drop the bomb like it's hot. Ooh, give me that. Eight levels. That's a big one. That's a big one. We've 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 gone like I don't even know how many levels just off of those off of those pits. Quite a few though. We've got we've been getting pretty lucky on that front. All right, this is a good bombable opportunity. I gotta be careful as well because I hear that I hear that serpent on his way. I'm just gonna staircase. The serpent's got me freaking out, dude. Okay, I can tell when I'm not wanted. This is a good bombable spot. Not even any, like, wayward XP rocks here. I spoke too soon, apparently. I got 10 XP for doing that. What's our mining level? Okay, we're still, we still got, like, a thousand experience of leeway. We're doing okay here. Avoid the iridium nodes where I can. I definitely don't need the ore. The only thing I worry about the iridium nodes for is, like, prismatic shards and stuff, which are not likely anyway. Three more levels, we take that. Okay. I don't even know how much how much XP a, a serpent would be. I don't want to kill one just to be on the safe side here because we don't we really do not have that much that much to work with. I don't think it would be like 150 XP. That would be that would be kind of crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna staircase out of this one as well. The serp the serpents really do be very bothersome. Okay. Eat, please. I got you. We still have plenty of bananas. I don't need to be don't need to be stingy with them. That's on me. Uh, I will bomb here. A little bit risky with the XP, and was the risk did not pay off this time. Get out of here. Oh, these serpents are just out of control. Yeah, I want to avoid that aqua. I think I'm gonna hit the aquamarine. No. Okay. 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 We did, we did not hit the Aquamarino, we also did not hit the staircase, and we almost died. So I'm just going to take that as a cue to get off of this floor. Holy moly. I hated that. <laughs> hated that. Hated every minute of that, actually. But we're safe here now. We're safe. We're amongst friendly little staircases. Anyone else's heart get pounding off that one, or just me? Okay. Plenty of Omni Geodes. I'm out of freaking buffs. I'm out of buffs. Okay. Any, I don't know how long I've been out of the pumpkin soup buff. Hopefully not that long. But at least the, like, I got slowed down by the triple shot and that reminded me there. All right, we're just going to take a staircase off this one. All right, that, that serpent. Don't bother me and I won't bother you. This is a very sparse floor, though. I'll take one crack at, uh, at a staircase down here, but then I'll probably just staircase myself out. The music is so antithetical right now to to the stress I'm feeling of, of Skull Caverns today. <laughs> Do I dare drop a bomb here? We got we got lots of leeway. We're fine. Take it. It was only eight XP. Oh, I missed all the. I thought I was gonna hit the iridium node. I didn't even realize. Okay, that was a nicely placed bomb then. Same as this one here. Go check. We got it. Okay. We love to see it. Love to see these floors as well. This is a nice freebie. Iridium bat. Very spooky. Very spooky right now. Iridium bats can heat you for like 60s or something like that. Maybe not through all, through all my defense. I'm going to hope that my defense is, is pretty good. But, you know, I, I got to be careful of the iridium bats. We are in their turf now. Speaking of, okay, um, move the bomb, like, right about here. No luck, okay. I'm just gonna staircase then. It's not worth, not worth the time investment. We're doing all right. We're not doing all right. I'm scared. I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'm not gonna cry anymore. It's the serpents, man, when you can't fight back, 
when your when your combat XP is so limited that you can't fight back, serpents are like the scariest thing you can see. They move so fast. Get me out of here, dude. Get me out of here, man. <laughs> you think you saw a staircase? I think I saw 985 of them. All right. No stairs. This is a very, very sparse floor. I will drop the bomb right here. Da bomba. Ooh, you love to see it. We're at what? We're at 55? 56 now? I'm liking our odds. We're only at 630 here. We still have plenty of time and plenty of staircases to work with. I'm gonna... In fact, I'm gonna use a staircase right here and right now and eat a banana in this safe haven of a treasure room. Let's go! What do we got? 10 corn seeds! <laughs> Why does that feel like such a slap in the face, man? I'm fighting for my life out here. You're gonna give me 10 little popcorn kernels? What the heck, dude? I'll take them. I'll take them over the 10 coal, I guess. No, I'm gonna take the 10 coal. Forget your corn seeds, dude. I can't be bought with mere corn. All right. Um, you know what? I should actually... I remember this. I remember you should check these rocks in the treasure rooms because you could get a, a pit or something like that. All right. We don't mess with spiral floors. Or star floors. And when thankfully we don't have to. There's a shaft leading right down here. Six more levels. You love to see it. Uh, don't love to see that. Goodbye. Ooh, we're on a good good run of floors here. Red slime egg! <laughs> it's been a wild, friend. Yo. Is the, is the randomizer trying to tell me? We might be due for a... Might be due for a, uh, a slime hutch here. I'll take it. Am I gonna toss... Am I really gonna toss the emerald? Yeah, I've got emeralds at home. It's fine. Honestly, I could probably toss the stone, but stone is a more valuable resource, strangely. <laughs> okay, 7.30. We're looking all right here. Going down. Ooh, diamond node. Diamond node is a lot of XP, I'm pretty sure. Isn't diamond node like 150 XP? I should definitely avoid that as much as I can here. We do some manual mining, but I'm probably just going to end up staircasing here. Yeah, I saw that serpent in the corner. I'm not, I'm not messing around here. All right, floor 69. Get, get your, get your yucks out now while you can. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, uh, iridium bat. Not loving this. Not loving this situation here. Okay, this is more my speed. This speed. This is more my speed. Although that ghost, all right, maybe this is not more my speed. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm a little scared. <laughs> I've used, all right. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I don't know how, I don't know how many staircases I'm allowed to use and stay honorable. Mr. Mr. Chi is totally going to scold me at the end of this, isn't he? He's going to be like, how, how dare you use 20 staircases to get down this, this far? I don't remember how many I'm, am I allowed to use staircases at all? I don't even know. <laughs> All I know is I'm going to use one here. Okay. Um, I will drop a bomb. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable in my mining XP. 68, though, is a, it's a kind of a big hit. For one staircase, was it worth it? Probably not. But we're, we're, it's done now. It's done now. I'm way past, I'm way past my allotted staircase threshold. Well, Mr. Chi needs to reevaluate his priorities, honestly. Does he know how many scary monsters there are in this cavern? He would be using staircases, too. No shot Mr. Chi has been waiting on floor 100, by the way. He, di he didn't get down there without any staircases. I refuse to believe it. 35 XP is a little rough. We're, we're definitely getting to the point where these these nodes are coming in such like dense clusters that it's pretty hard to avoid the mining XP. 
On the bright side, our next mining level is not going to be that bad at all, I don't think. Okay. That's fine. Holy moly. It's hurting someone watching me skip on all these, like, Iridium nodes and stuff, but... But just, I mean, we can just go home and come home to, like, two full stacks of Iridium ore, so I'm not really... I'm not really that worried about it here. Five levels down. We're, to, we're at 83, 10.20 p.m. I'm not sure. We're, we're approaching the time where it might be full staircase hours. I don't know. Uh, that's definitely a staircase floor. If I've ever seen one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight the urge to staircase immediately. I wanna, I wanna go looking. One serpent is not that big of a deal. Ooh, especially when there's so much loot down here. Okay, avoid you. Alright, we staircase now. <laughs> I, th I think I gave this floor a fair shake. Uh, I'm just gonna staircase out of that one, because that one's gonna take too long. Okay. I mean, you can you can tell I'm starting to rely on the staircases more and more as we get deeper here. There's a reason we brought them. There's a reason we saved up so many, so I shouldn't be too upset about having to use them. And I'm not, but but give me at least a chance at these last few floors here. <laughs> All right. What if I tried to go the last 10 floors without any staircases? That was, oh, it wasn't even an Iridium, it wasn't an Iridium node, it was a crab, dude. I could try and do these last ten staircase free. I don't know how likely that is, because it's it's midnight. Just mine a few rocks, mine a few rocks, you never know, you could get lucky. Could get very lucky, alright. It's a pipe dream, it's getting late. The sun's getting real low. All right, we're not messing around. We're not messing around here. We're so close to the Iridium snake milk. I can taste it. I can already taste it. 69 experience? It was worth it. It was worth it. Okay, that's all is so good. Thank you. Thank you, yummy freebie. We drop a bomb here. We drop a bomb. It's a little intense. A little intense experience-wise. Holy moly. We got, oh, we got a shaft, though. Right, give me the shaft. You fell down six levels to floor 100! Let's go! Exactly to floor 100! Never tell me the odds! Holy... Here he is. Well, well, well. You made it. <laughs> oh, baby. That, that was a rush at the end there. I love that. He's gonna, he's gonna diss me for my dishonorable conduct. Come closer now. Don't be shy. Dot, dot, dot. That's how I feel right now, Beatrix. Holy moly. <laughs> Inventory full. <laughs> I heard you were attempting a deep dive into, the, into these caverns today. Where'd you hear... Mr. Chi watches the stream? Confirmed? I had to see for myself. Impressive. Very impressive. Making it all the way down here is quite a feat. Although you did skip a bunch of levels by crafting staircases. Crafting? Lol. This guy thinks you I crafted all these staircases. Clever, sure, but not very honorable. Look, man. You don't know what I've been through. <laughs> you can talk to me about honor when you have, you know, been at level zero in all your skills and got yourself a gold clock, alright? Alright, I've done my I've done my time in the mines here. Maybe not these mines, but different a different kind of mines, the mental mines. Even so, it must have been a lot of work to mine all that stone, and that sort of dedication is praiseworthy. You're a rare one, kid. <laughs> now go over to the table and drink your snilk. Let's do it. Give me the milk, please. It's called Iridium Snake Milk. One healthy swig of that, and you'll become even more powerful. Is it even possible for Beatrix to transcend her current power level? The taste is awful, and the texture is even worse. The texture of milk is not something I ever want to think of. But your health is permanently increased by 25. Thank you. Thank you to the Iridium Snakes. Good luck out there, kid. I appreciate it. We're gonna need it. Alright, get me the heck out of here. Wait! 
Treasure room check. It, all right, that's my cue to leave. I don't need. I don't need to deal with these pepper rexes. <laughs> that's a little intimidating. I will leave a. I will leave this remaining. These remaining staircases out here and bring everything else home. I think. Just, just dropping down one floor and being immediately confronted by <laughs> by a cab by just a a posse of pepper rexes. Is uh is one of the most intimidating things a Stardew Valley player can experience for sure. I was scared, dude. Yo, Allie, welcome on in. Welcome. Good to see you. You were here just in time for a little iridium snake milk action. Beauty. Let me sort out my inventory here. I've I've still I've got enough time. I can sort things out. We can de decompress from a lovely. I was I was welcome, honestly. As stressful as Skull Cavern can be at times, it was a it was a welcome change of pace for sure. Such a welcome change of pace. I think I'm just gonna pivot to being a full time Skull Cavern spelunker. Welcome to my Stardew Valley Let's Play. We're gonna be going to Skull Cavern for the next two thousand days. Hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> If the next goal is Penny, it would be very ironic. I really hope it's not Penny. That would be so mean. Do I even have anywhere... Did I, do I have any red slime eggs? I probably sold all my red slime eggs in the pursuit of getting a, a gold clock at some point, didn't I? There we go. Oh. Back, back where we need to be. Wait, hold on. We gotta do the last little switcheroo here. Last minute switcheroo. Give me my sneakers. Give me my glow ring and my magnet ring. There we go. That's the Beatrix I know and love. Or at least the Beatrix I'm more familiar with. <laughs> I definitely did sell them. Yeah, I figured. I figured as much. All right, lock that one in. I never thought I'd see the day where our health is higher than our energy, as far as like the the size of the bar itself. But here we are. Iridium snake milk stays winning. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was very fun. But. It's time to roll a new goal. I don't know if the next goal... I don't know what goal could possibly hope to follow up a... Uh, the, the Iridium Snake Milk. I don't know if the randomizer has it, has it in it to one-up itself here, but... I guess there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Backpack? A backpack would definitely... <laughs> would definitely trump this, I would say. But we're probably just gonna get something something boring and silly. Like cook a pizza. <laughs> oh man. The fact that it's a cooking goal is great. The fact that it's such a basic food as a pizza is even better, dude. Man. Yo. <laughs> Your mom mom said if I drink my iridium snake milk, I can have some pizza. Let's go! Let's go! All right. Let me write it down here. Pizza. Personally, you don't like pizza, but it's a generally beloved food. I don't know if I've ever met anyone who doesn't like pizza. You're a rare breed forever, Pluey. But you are entitled to it. You just had some pizza for breakfast. Pizza for breakfast is a, is a goaded breakfast food for sure. I am friends with both uh, Shane and Sam, yes. Ms. Palindrome also doesn't care for pizza. Well, there you go. <laughs> You're not alone. There's dozens of us. All right, what do I even need to cook a pizza? I need some dough, I need some tomato sauce, and I need some cheese, and you need your toppings. But according to Stardew, all I need is wheat flour, tomato, and cheese. That's pretty accurate. All right. 
Wheat flour, tomato. Do I have cheese? Um. All right, tomatoes there. There's no cheese in here, is there? Yeah. We're, we're missing a little bit of cheese. I have the cheese press, though. So I can just make some cheese lickety split here. Make some cheese wickety split. Cheese doesn't take that long, does it? You can trade at the Desert Trader. You can trade emeralds for cheese, that's true. I don't- is that a specific day? I think that's like Fridays that you can do that. Safira, welcome on in. Hope you had a, a good sport day, a good sporty day. Four hours for the for the cheese and the cheese press, that's not bad. We definitely wait that one out. Let's see how our, how our pumpkins are doing down here. Are any of you feeling particularly giant? This lovely fall day. Obviously, we can't have giant pumpkins yet, but, but maybe there's one just waiting to happen here. A little pruning here. Four hours for cheese. Yeah, we'll we'll just ride this one out. I'm not going to worry about sleeping the day away. Save the days when we can. Yeah, no giant melon, unfortunately, but the giant, uh... The giant pumpkin is better, anyway. Don't tell the melon that I said it, but I, I would much rather have a giant pumpkin than a giant melon. I just like how it looks better. Call me Charlie Brown, because I want this giant pumpkin. Hope that headache subsides relatively soon there, Allie. Best wishes to you. Only three hours for cheese? It's got to be just about done then. It would be cool to have all three giant crops at the same time, though. It, it's, I can't deny it. I, I am a little bummed that we're not going to have all three giant crops. We, we might only have one giant crop, but... <laughs> Melon here, feelings hurt. Melon, you're still you're still cool. I'm just saying your giant variant is not as visually impactful as the as the giant pumpkin. Is that a hot take? Is that a hot take? I feel like my giant crop tier list, of which there are only three. Technically, I guess there's gonna be four in version 1.6, maybe even more than that. If I include all four of the giant crops that are currently known. I think my tier list goes S tier is giant pumpkin. A tier is giant chi fruit. And then giant cauliflower and giant melon share the share like the B tier. Giant giant chi fruit speaks to me on a spiritual level. I can't I can't deny it. Anyway, would you like some pizza? Pizza for breakfast, don't mind if I do. Have I tailored a pizza? Surely I've tailored a pizza at this point. Little pizza shirt. This is gonna make a messy shirt if it... Oh, it makes a, it makes a party hat, dude! I forgot I made a hat. Give it to my buddy Sam. I'll add it to the pile. I'll add it to the pile of stale pizzas that will one day be bequeathed unto one of my friends at some point, I'm sure. Alright. Run it back. Roll a new goal. We are currently, by the way, for those keeping track at home, we are eight goals deep this stream. Eight goals in less than two hours is unreal pace. Are we going to slow down anytime soon here? There's only one person that can, uh... That can determine that, and I hate to say it, but they're not even a person. They're they're a piece of code. But there's someone living in the code here. I have to believe it. There's some there's someone listening. There's someone out there listening to all the people in chat screaming, begging for a backpack upgrade. A backpack upgrade or a walnut room or an island obelisk would be pretty cool. Getting a ginger island nice and lickety split like that. Suzaluza, hello. 
You have caught up just in time for our ninth goal of the stream. Number nine. Give it up for number nine. It's cook an omelette. An omelette du fromage. Just a, just a basic omelette. I don't mind that. I'll cook. I'll go cook a little omelet. I think that's just uh, just like some eggs. <laughs> I haven't had an actual omelet like in real life in in so long. I should try. I should I should go make an omelet one of these days. Chat. What's your go to omelet toppings? I I am personally I'm a pretty basic omelet enjoyer. I could go for just a cheese omelet most of the time. Maybe throw some like peppers on there, just some like just some like basic like red and green peppers, and I'm I'm good with that. But just cheese omelet is honestly like top tier. Chorizo, ooh, chorizo is a good pick, honestly. Ricotta and spinach actually sounds amazing. I need to up my omelet game. You guys, you guys are dropping some great, uh, some great options here. Onions, cheese, and chili oil. Just cheese, but you do have a hot take. Void egg omelet. Mushrooms. I would not do a mushroom omelet myself. I don't enjoy mushrooms enough to, to, to go omelet mode on them. But, but you do you. I'm happy for you. Spinach and jalapeno. Omelets are such a good food. Egg and milk. Easy as that. It's, it's literally just that easy in real life, too, most of the time. <laughs> Probably cheese and bacon. Eggs are yucky. I love eggs so much. I, eggs, are, eggs are one of my go-to breakfast foods, no doubt about it. With tomato and sausage. I can't believe how just how versatile omelets are. I mean, eggs in general are already very versatile, and then the subset of eggs, like there's there's so many different things you can do with eggs, just like on their own. Not not even getting into the fact that they're an ingredient in so many things. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hungry too. I need to I need to stop talking about it. I'm getting too hungry, man. I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. All right. Anyway, that's that's an omelet officially cooked. Do I dare tailor it? Cozy cooking stream. A little cooking, a little tailoring. It's a yellow and green shirt. I'm pretty sure we already have that one from Sandy. But, you know, the thought is appreciated. We all getting omelets. We getting out of the omelet with this one! You're not wrong, uh, Knackle. Th knackle? Knackle? Knacky? Hold on. My my chat is so small. <laughs> I can't read your name. Knackle. You're not wrong. Breakfast or dinner is, uh, it hits different. It, it goes very hard. I'm very, very much a fan, fan of it. Knackle with an L, yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the clarity. It's on me. My setup is still, is still terrible. I need to get a new setup. Probably when I move, hopefully I'll be able to get a new set up for my double monitors here because the way I have it set up right now is is far from ideal, I will say. I digress. Omelette cooked. Keep up the cozy cooking vibes and I'll be a happy man, randomizer. What do you got for me? Ship a cauliflower? Easy enough. <laughs> man, the randomizer is taking it easy on us today. I say in the wake of a uh, stressful nail biting dive into Skull Cavern. Cauliflower. Will we sacrifice the giant cauliflower? Nah. Nah, Fleur can stay. Wait, it wasn't Fleur, was it? It was Colleen. Colleen the cauliflower. We, we got lots of cauliflowers on the side. All the ones that didn't turn into giant cauliflowers, we still have them, so. <laughs> this is going to be our 10th goal of the stream, by the way. Holy moly. Holy moly, that's a lot of goalies. Do I have any cauliflowers just, like, hanging out here? Got five cauliflowers right there. 
I can ship the higher quality cauliflowers, though. If I'm going to ship the cauliflowers, I might as well make money off of them, right? Make, some, make as much money as we can here. I got all these. All these cauliflowers. I don't think I need to save high quality cauliflowers for any gifts, do I? Maru loves cauliflower, I'm pretty sure. But we've already befriended Maru, so I think we're fine here. You see my MLP reference? I can't sneak anything by you, Bex. <laughs> Jody? Does Jody love cauliflowers? I know she asks for a cauliflower as one of like her early quests, but that doesn't need to be a high quality one, right? Quick question, how's the community center? Uh, the community center has become a movie theater. <laughs> It's been a long... We sold our soul to Joja a long time ago in the randomizer, unfortunately. The card... The... The stars were not aligned for us to complete the community center on this one. Only Maru loves it. Okay. Alright, we're safe then. We're safe. That's a lot of money for some... For just a few cauliflowers there. Ten grand for all those cauliflowers? That wasn't that, even that many. Pretty decent. Cauliflower is the new meta for, for money making. Forget star fruit. I'm a cauliflower main. High quality cauliflowers discarded so so lightly. What would OG Chloe think? <laughs> Chloe's come around. She's she's got a lot of worldly experience these days. She understands the needs and wants of different challenge runs and different timelines. Robin loves peaches, that is correct, yeah. Jody loves a lot of cooked dishes, of which cauliflower might be a component, but we don't need to... We don't need high-quality ones for that, at least. Either way, what's done is done. Cauliflowers have been successfully shipped. We are closing in on 42%. I know the internet loves the number 42. What's going to get us there? Is it going to be this? It might be this goal, it might be two more, but... This could be this could be a beautiful thing. We'll see. Eleven goals. I'm pretty sure our max goals in one stream previously is I want it's either thirteen or fourteen. I don't remember. Go with fourteen to be on the safe side. But we are quickly we are qu quickly looking to supersede that, especially with this nice easy quick goal here to ship some maple syrup. I'm pretty. We have maple syrup, don't we? We got extra maple syrup off the back of our wood chipper grinds in the past, so I think we're fine on this one. Maple, maple syrup. Is Chloe an omnipotent god in Argon Matrix lore? Nah, she's just kind of like Chloe. <laughs> She's, you know, she's got her own power, just like many Stardew characters do. But she's she's just kind of your every your everyday farmer. She's the OG. All right. Bring you on back here. We do have Bear's knowledge, we do. Does Bear Wait, does Bear's knowledge help us with maple syrup? I forget what bear's knowledge does. Does it make... No, it's just for... That's for blackberries and salmon berries. It doesn't affect maple syrup at all. It's just because the bear wanted maple syrup that I'm conflating it. We have three lots of maple syrup here. Look at that. Send one of them. One of these days, we're not going to be... We're, we're not going to have to worry about being so judicious with our, with our syrup use because we'll actually have tappers, but today is not that day. All right. What was the last befriending goal we got? I think the last person we befriended was... Was it Robin? Or was it Harvey? I don't know. It has been a while, for sure. We still have a decent amount of people left to befriend, but I'm glad we've been able to get at least a bit of a break because we had we had quite a few befriending goals in, in quick succession, so I'm glad to have gotten a little bit of a reprieve on that one.
Robin was the last one. That's right, yeah, she was she rounded out the uh, the entire family. We befriended the whole family over there. Beatrix is, is she's she's like she's like a member of the family over there. <laughs> she's worked herself in very nicely. Key to the town would make befriending easier. Uh, we're a long way from key to the town, at least in theory. I mean, in, actually, in theory, technically, we're not that far from key to the town because it would just be we just have to roll walnut room and then key to the town. But it would definitely help. Iridium oranges for Gus. Do we have iridium oranges? I think we do. I think we do. Either way, we can always go iridium rabbit's feet if need be. Forty-two percent. The answer to the universe, life, love, and everything. Forty-two. One of one of like the earliest memes of all time. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Forty-two has arrived. We are cruising with these goals. Don't let it stop now. Don't don't be mean about this randomizer. I know how. I know how much of a troll you can be when you want to. We are currently 11 goals deep. We're going for number 12 here. This could be this could be a pivotal milestone. Well, not this one, but <laughs> we only need a few more goals to supersede the most goals we've ever gotten in one stream by like a lot. Ship a crocus. I can ship a crocus. I can ship a crocus. We could we we're dodging bullets left, right, and center. Befriend Niggle, dodge, walnut room, parried. Obelisk. Yeeted. Get him out of here. Give me all the shipping goals. Make it easy on me here. <laughs> Save all the hard stuff for later. The max goals we've done in one stream before, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to say it's 14. I'm going to say 14 was the max we've done in a previous stream. I haven't been keeping track. That's on me. I'm pretty sure we have not done 15 before, so this is this is number 12. We're we're cruising to at least tie our max. All right, Crocus, a Crocus, or Crobus. If only he actually liked them. All right, Crocus shipped. Easy as that. <laughs> this is a big snowball. The bigger the snowball gets the more bombastic it'll be when it finally crashes into a brick wall. Happy birthday, Elliot. It's not where that goes. Have a good one there. Uh, Tingle, Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land? <laughs> what a name, I love it. Have a good one there, Thanks. thanks for hanging out for a bit. How long will the stream be? Um, undecided right now. Currently undecided, but I'm willing to go probably like at least four hours today. We'll see. Do I have notes from the previous streams to count the goals completed? I mean, I have exclamation point complete to show like the total goals completed and like the order that they're in, but I don't have the, uh, the like notes per stream, no. Which is again, that's 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 on me for sure. All right, man, I'm getting, I'm starting to get into the hang of this. I'm starting to get into the rhythm of swapping between the randomizer and the game here. It only took 238 goals to get there. 42.2 percent. Let's not slow down now. Keep going. Gain a mining level. It's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take it. Well, actually, no, because we actually gained so much mining experience from Skull Cavern. So this won't be that bad at all, actually. All right. Level up's coming back in full force. Mining level. Mining level freaking seven. Seven! Oh my gosh. Back to the caverns. We could go to the caverns. We could just go to the quarry and like and and bomb the heck out of it. <laughs> I feel like the quarry is the way to go here. We have no real reason to go to the caverns other than other than 
that, you know, it's on our mind lately, but... The quarry is the obvious play here, I think. And many people seem on board with this. We love exploding ourselves a quarry, don't we, folks? We, we, we love it. We love taking a few mega bombs and just dropping them in the middle of the quarry and and unleashing a dopamine explosion in tandem with the actual explosion. How much experience do we need here? We need... Let's do the math. Let's not be lazy. I need 600... And 28 mining experience to level up. Do you think there's a chance? Well, let's go Let's go see what the quarry looks like. Do you think there's a chance we get 628 mining experience in one explosion? It largely depends on what the quarry looks like. It hasn't been that long, long since we bombed it last, so it might not have had time to recover yet. That said, there's still, there are a lot of rocks here. Not that many that are full of ore, though. <laughs> I don't know. The quarry might not actually get us there this time. We have some gem nodes. We have... Or at least we have one gem node there. The emerald node. There's some ore. Let's go down near the emerald here. Feel I'm feeling... You know what? I'm going to chop this tree out of the way. I'm going to drop it right about there. And clear out of the way. 226 experience from that explosion. A respectable number for sure. But not quite enough. Let's get this topaz. That was only 40 experience for that one. Yeah, the, the rest of these are not going to be that big, I don't think. We don't have a lot of ore. It's mostly just stones. 59 more experience out of that. We're knocking down the trees at the very least to get them out of here. Might have to do some good old-fashioned, like, actual mining here. <laughs> quarry is looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty clear on the quarry here. Very least, we've topped up on a lot of our, a lot of our stone. I should probably get rid of some of these trees, honestly. I should probably like just clear just clear out the trees while I'm here in order to make more room for stones and stuff, right? Should we just should we just do like a full quarry clear here? We have the foraging experience to just like chop down trees if I wanted to, or I could just keep bombing them. Do a little more bombing. You know, tree tree bombing is a is a fun pastime. Not in real life. You won't ever catch me doing this doing this IRL. But it is satisfying in Stardew, I'll say that much. Oh man. <laughs> Look at all this. Yeah, I'll use a mega bomb on that, why not? Yo, you're, you need multiple mega bombs for for this. You, you're a sturdy, you're a sturdy one, aren't you? I guess I just ha probably haven't hit this tree that much. All right, we got mega bombs to spare. Send it. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> uh, I got a few more trees to go here. Can I hit both of those with a single mega bomb? I don't know if the radius is wide enough. There, it was. It was actually wide enough. I always underestimate, underestimate just how wide Mega Bombs explosions can be. Beautiful. We could craft a chest with all this wood. <laughs> it's true. I mean, I could, I could craft a chest to have out here. That's for sure. All right, let's just get rid of these stumps by hand. Never say I don't do at least a little bit of manual labor around here. Look at me chopping all these stumps one at a time. A single experience point at a time. Bro, all this sap is... <laughs> the sap is kind of out of control here.
topaz hiding behind the stump. Make a chest to put all the sap in. I can be persuaded. I'm gonna put a chest right here. Because no, I don't think anyone's ever put a chest there in all of Stardew Valley history. I'm gonna, let's put away just all this for right now. Just go, ooh, baby. Ooh, magnet ring doing some good work here. I'll come back for you, Topaz. Don't you worry about it. Sneaky common mushroom down there, by the way. I don't think I don't see you. Oh, wait, there's more sap over here. That was good, man. That was good. I completely forgot that we're even going for a mining level here. I've just been so satisfied with all this sap. I guess I can bring the sap back with me, to be honest with you. Yeah, let's run all the resources home. I'll go back for that topaz in a second, but we'll uh, we'll go drop stuff off at home, including the bombs, because I don't really need them right now. There's some sap hovering over the gully in midair. We don't dare touch that sap. That's some that's some mystic sap. I don't know what kind of power it's <laughs> it is uh, channeled in order to be able to do that, but packed of the sap. Nama banana? Sure, why not? Little midday snack. Did we get all the mining XP? I think we got all the mining XP that we could out of out of the quarry there. I'm pretty sure we hit, hit every rock. Left no stone unturned, quite literally. Bring all this home, and you know what? You can stay there. I, li I like you there, little chest. Little chest friend. Yeah, I think we're good here. Alright. I think probably our best... The best way to gain more mining experience from here is... Probably the volcano. <laughs> we probably go do a little bit of cinder shard scouting. And, uh, and that should get us the rest of the way there, I would imagine. Is there any other better way to go about gaining mining experience? We could, we could, you know, try and go guns blazing for some prismatic shards in Skull Cavern or something like that. If we go deep enough, we could just, like, get a bunch of Iridium nodes. There is that. That's another way we could go about it. We have the staircases for sure. Have a good one there, Knackle. Thanks for hanging out. Glad you are able to make it to a stream today. And, uh, and take care. We're right at the level up. Pretty close there. <laughs> yeah, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go grab some more cinder shards on this one. We're gonna need the cinder shards in the future for, well, we need, we need more for cinder clown shoes. Which are definitely shoes that I want. Alright, let's just, not, we're not just gonna go gallivanting all willy-nilly to the volcano here. We gotta... You gotta set things up right. Do the standard fair here. I'll bring Phoenix Ring, Combined Ring. Look at me getting getting used to switching my gear out for the situation. I don't even have I don't even have to have to reference chat for this one. I can just take I will take this to defend myself. I'll take the watering can because I need it. I will take some crab cakes and I'll take some triple shot. Running a little low triple shot, but that's okay. Look at this. Look at this beautiful setup. I'm probably forgetting something, but... <laughs> I guess I could bring bombs in theory, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the manual mining thing, I think. Why not drink a triple shot as well, actually? How am I going to farm cinder shards and avoid monsters at the same time? I guess we'll find out, won't we? I guess we'll find out. 
<laughs> Find out next time on Perfection Randomizer. Previously on Perfection Randomizer. POV, you're watching a show that aired weekly back in the mid-90s, but you it aired it aired so long ago, and now you just have a full collection of it, and you're just watching them streamlined in one playlist. So it goes immediately from Find Out Next Time to Previously On. Alright, I've got a Copper Pickaxe. And a dream. Is a copper pickaxe going to be good enough for the volcano? I mean, it's, it's been good enough so far. Maybe I should have brought some bombs. I didn't think about how like long it's going to take to just... To break some of these rocks. Okay. Avoid all these nerds. And show me some cinder shards, shall we? Cinder shards. I wouldn't be opposed. I don't. Can you get iridium or sorry? Can you get prismatic shards from iridium nodes in the volcano? Because if so, I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to breaking iridium nodes while I'm here too. I thought I thought there was like a little gap there that I could get through. That's my bad. Iridium snake milk coming in clutch, by the way. With the extra, the extra HP, I just feel a little that that little bit extra security and safety amidst all this. Ooh, I'll take that. Three cinder shards out of a out of a chest. Didn't even need any mining experience for those ones. All right, I should I should be mining the rocks for the XP, but I just kind of want to get out of here. These guys are. Making life rather unpleasant for me. I see that cinder shard node down there, though, so I should definitely. I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty well guarded by by this tiger slime, but all right, I'm just watching my HP. Okay, 12 XP. I'll take it. Not bad, not bad. We're not gonna die. Don't you don't you worry about it. We're gonna be perfectly, perfectly fine, perfectly happy with our state of our health here. Okay. You can get a you can get prismatic shards from iridium nodes here. Good to know. They're being very sparse with the cinder shard nodes. I can't help but notice. They're really they're really not giving me much to work with here. <laughs> I thought I thought it was gonna be gonna be easy to level up in the volcano here. Have a good one there, Bex. Thanks thanks for hanging out, by the way. Take care, take care. I could go for the rest of these, like, ore nodes, I guess, as well. We're already level 5. We have, like, 5 cinder shards, 3 of which we got from a treasure chest. What the heck is going on, man? Alright, there we go. We got some more cinder shards. I'll take that. I, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want any trouble, pal. I don't want any trouble, sir. I just want to get my cinder shards and be on my way. Thank you, sir. Buy bombs. Does the volcano homie sell bombs? He actually might do. Uh, but who needs bombs when I've got a, a perfectly good pickaxe right here and two more cinder shard nodes in my sights. One magma sparkler is not the not the end of the world here. Even if you inflict me with the, a little bit of burn, I'll be okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, watering can me. Lesson learned: I should be bringing bombs to the volcano for for mining experience. That's for sure. The pickaxe is just not cutting it these days. Yeah. My triple shot ran out. 
My triple shot. No. He does sell bombs. Good to know. Good to know. I'm not going to go back for them now, but, you know, in future, that could be a good thing to know. <laughs> Ooh, cinder shards. Who put these cinder shards here? And mind your health. Mind your health. Mind your head and mind your health. It's really the only thing that matters right now. I mean, I can always come back for more mining experience, but if I if I die here, then it's we're not we're not looking too pretty. Man, 50 experience for an iridium node. Holy moly, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna be mining more of those. It takes me a, a, approximately one in-game year to mine them, but. <laughs> But it was, uh, it was satisfying. We are so close. We are literally 30 experience away from a level up here. Am I gonna get it? I see a Cinder Shard node there, so... I'm feeling pretty... It's, feel, it's feeling pretty likely here. Okay, we got it. Get me through. Get me through. I just gotta get over... Honestly, I don't even need to worry too much about the chest. I just need to get over to that side. It is only 12 XP, but combined with other rocks and stuff, maybe we'll get there. 11.50 p.m. Eat the banana, stay on top of stay ahead of things here. Combat XP is so scary. Alright. You know, clear the rest of the way to the treasure here. Is this gonna get me? Is this gonna get me there? I'm five experience away. Okay. Are there rocks up here? There are no rocks up here. You know, we can just we can circle back around into the inside of the to the to the first floor of the volcano. That might be the best way to go about it here. I can stop at the dig site. Actually, true. Yeah, I could just because I gotta be heading home here anyway. I, sh I can just stop at the dig site. Should be more than enough. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, I think we're. I think I'm gonna go home, chat. I think we're gonna call it there. I think we're. I think we're just gonna call it there. We're. I. We were pretty close to getting the level up here, but I. I just don't think I have it in me to. Is, we're, look! Look! Look how close we are on time. Look how close we are on time. It's 1 a.m. I gotta go all the way down to the to the island farm. It's like, it's just such a long trek, chat. It's such a long trek. Fine. <laughs> but if I pass out, this is on you, chat. This is on you. Simply <laughs> avert your eyes. Don't engage. You know my tricks. Part of me wanted to come all the way down here and, like, actually just see if there was, like, a rock hanging out on the farm somewhere, but I pr was pretty sure there wasn't, so. What am I going to do? Lose energy? It's about the... It's the principle of the matter. All right. Actually, I could still make it home. I could still make it, like, all the way home. Eh, you know what? We'll sleep on Ginger Island. It could be a Ginger Island-related goal. Sorry, I forgot the jump scare warning. Hopefully no one got too terrified by our level 7 mining notification. We can now transmute AU. I want to transmute AR, honestly, though. Where's, where's my Argon representation at? What the heck? Lovely. Lovely jubbly. That is level seven mining. Let's take a look at our skills. This is, we've been, what the heck is a small holder? Excuse me? I've never heard of this word in my life. What's a small holder? I feel like I've been insulted. <laughs> I'm not a small holder. I'm a big holder. I'm, I'm as big as any other holder. Why am I a small holder, dude? <laughs> <laughs> One who holds small things. Our skills are looking... They're looking somewhat respectable, though. You know, maybe small holder is a... Is a title we have earned. As in a landowner? Are you telling me I didn't own my farm up until now? 
because I wasn't high enough mining level. <laughs> I don't have a backpack upgrade. That's a that's a great point, early gamer. The thing I I I am a small holder <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> that makes sense. One who has only twelve inventory slots. What does that make Iron Man Chloe then? A tiny holder? A micro holder? Oh my gosh. All right. You heard, you heard the words backpack upgrade? Hopefully the randomizer didn't hear it. The more we talk about the backpack upgrade, the less likely it seems to seems to be able to happen. But if we push the randomizer hard enough here, it's good. we're going to have to get the backpack upgrade eventually, right? It's just a matter of probability and statistics. Finish me that goal. 42.4%. What are we up to? We are up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 goals have been completed this stream. If we complete this next goal, this stream, we match our current record. And if we complete two more goals, then we beat our current record for goals completed in a single stream. We are on the precipice of greatness here. Don't do me dirty now, randomizer. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. Ship an apricot. <laughs> I got apricots. I got apricots for days. I got no, no problems with this. Someone called it. Did someone say ship an apricot? Small Kidney Joe literally said ship an apricot. <laughs> that's rare. Yo, that's incredible. How in the world did you, did you guess that? Small, small kidney, Joe. You've got you've got some very powerful words. Use them carefully. Oh, I also just realized I completely forgot the the goal is like the like the goal marker is like in a weird spot because of Skull Cavern. Let me put that back there. There we go. It's like I say, you got to call your shot, and and small kidney, Joe took that to heart. Called his shot and uh, and worked out this time. Okay, let's head home, shall we? Good morning, Pi. Hope you hope you weren't too lonesome sleeping in the house all by yourself here. Maybe you could sleep outside with with Iota or some of the other animals. Pretty good amount of cinder shards, that. 106 cinder shards. We could go get our cinder clown shoes at any time now. We just have to we just have to make it to floor five of the volcano again. Don't let me forget about that, chat. We're gonna inevitably all roads lead to the volcano eventually. Don't let me forget about the cinder clown shoes shoes next time we go. I'm willing to commit the the hundred gold. Sorry, the 100 Cinder Shard tax for them. They're so worth it. Okay. Grab this and this and this. Let's go feed our animals and grab an apricot while we're at it. Here we go. 12 Iridium quality apricots. I will ship one of them. What am I going to use the rest for? You know, you never know when you're going to want to make a little fruit salad. Couldn't hurt to have a few extra on hand. Easy peasy. Not only have we completed like a, a lot of goals just this stream, but the amount of actual in-game time that's passed is pretty wild too. Like we we started this stream on what, like, like summer 27th? It was like last two days of summer. It's been barely more than a week and we've gotten 14 goals done. Like what is happening, man? Randomize just turned over a new leaf here. You'll love to see it. All right. On the cusp of shipping that apricot that officially, officially, unofficially, Ties our record for most goals completed in a single stream so far. Apricot. 
question now is, is the randomizer going to trip us right at the finish line here? Going to reach out, step on my shoelaces so I tumble face first and don't even cross the finish line? Or are we actually going to get to get the set a new record here? Let's go find out. My randomizer, my friend, my enemy, maybe the last goal I ever see today. What will you do for me? Will you be my knight in shining armor or will you be the devil dancing on my shoulder and other such mi mixed metaphors? Bro, just click the button. Befriend Leia. No, the friendship goal. Oof. All right. Um, all right, Leia birthday check. Leia has a birthday in winter, right? <laughs> Wait, we can still do this. We, we've got time. Leia, we only have to get eight hearts with Leia. Eight hearts with Leia is, is very doable. Eight hearts with Layable is fine. It, layable? <laughs> eight hearts with Leia is perfectly doable. 23rd of winter it's a ways off we might not get that before she uh before we're already friends with her oh but what i mean <laughs> kazoom is telling me otherwise though kazoom is here kazoom, kazoom is here to save the day we're all a little disappointed that it's not going to be an easier goal to be a, we're gonna have to work for this one we're gonna have to work for this one but with kazoom in our minds and our hearts and our ears and our souls what could possibly go wrong? All right. Let me search you on the on the wiki, Leia. The wiki's being it's being slow. Every, there's too many people looking up Leia on the wiki right now. It's hold on, Leia. Search it. Why is it? Why are you? Why are you? It's giving me like a loading circle, circling the drain. That even the wiki doesn't want me to to know about Leia. Hold on a second here, Stardew Valley wiki. L E A H. Is it because I'm not calling her Leia? I can't load Leia's wiki page. I don't know what's happening. It's it's just not loading. So I'm gonna have to rely entirely on you, chat. <laughs> Amu, you are the Leia wiki. All right, all right. What movies does Leia like? What, d d can we take Leia to the movies? Is she a, an avid cinephile, or are we gonna have to get more creative than that? Oh, wait, I think the page loaded over there. That's all right, this is more fun anyway, to do to do just with chat. Iridium goat cheese and iridium wine. We do We do have iridium goat cheese, do we not? Hold on a second, I'm just getting my windows all sorted out here. Or have I sold all my Iridium Goat Cheese? No, I've got 67 Iridium Goat Cheese! Goat Cheese, Truffles. We can do some Goat Cheese. We, we'll, start, we'll start with the Goat Cheese. We can definitely throw, mix in some wine as well at some point here. Wine, not. Truffles. I've got one Gold Star Truffle with her name on it. She loves Mysterium. Okay, Myster Mysterium is her favorite movie. Mysterium is a fall movie. I don't think it's the fall movie we've got this year, though, unfortunately. I think we get It Howls in the Rain this year, don't we? If memory serves, it's going to be It Howls in the Rain. Is it, is it Howls in the Rain? She dislikes It Howls in the Rain. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the movie we got. Loves Mysterium, hates Howl in the Rain, and Journey of the Prairie King. Okay. All other movies, she is she is lukewarm on. She likes them, I assume anyway. So I, let's go ahead and uh, well, I'll double check that that's the actual movie that's playing. I'm pretty sure it was. I remember running by it uh, last stream and seeing that. I'm pretty sure. But let's go verify with her own two eyes. Have a good one there, Arabella. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. 
And Leia does not have any quests that I can complete to fast track any any friendship experience. M most of the bachelors and bachelorettes do not. I'm looking for a common mushroom to bring to my evening book club. Sounds like you're going to be the life of the party, Pam. Good for you. I hope I hope that works out well for you. Show me Mysterium. Tell me I'm wrong. That's not Mysterium, dude. That's it howls in the rain. A group of youngsters set up to discover the source of mysterious sound. Parental supervision required? Or Zuzu City Express next season, which she is... She, she likes, at least. So we can take her to that one, but for now... Accept the quest for the achievement in the hat. Yeah, I guess it couldn't hurt to do the help wanted quest now that you mention it like that, yeah. All right. Now the question is, where the heck is Leia? <laughs> I do not, I'm, Leia is one of those whose schedule I chronically forget. She goes down to the dock in the, in the, in not in the secret woods, but just in the regular woods, the cinder sap forest sometimes, in order to, um, in order to paint. She goes out to the beach to paint. She goes to the grocery store doesn't she go to the grocery store on Mondays? She goes to Pierre on Mondays? Something in my brain is telling me that. Maybe my brain has finally latched onto some Leia-related trivia. She's at home right now. I can't get into her home because obviously I've like barely ever spoken to her. But that's all right. We'll fix that soon enough. We're gonna get we're gonna get two hearts with her right quick. Deliver the common mushroom to Pam now. Oh, I was going to do that, actually. That's part of why I went home. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I can always catch her, catch her later. Oh, here's a common mushroom right here. You know what? Just grab one of them. Why not? Amanda. Hello and good night. Hello, hello. And good night, good night. <laughs> Is Pam befriended yet? Pam was one of our first friends, actually. I believe Sam... Uh, well, the, obviously, the homie was our first friend. And then Sam and Pam, I think, were the next two, if I remember right. I think they went back-to-back, because -back they, they rhyme with each other. It's just cute that way. At 11, she goes to the shop. Okay, this is probably not the best day to come out and meet her then, but I'm here now, so I might as well wait it out. I guess I'll go give the... Give Pam the mushroom while I'm waiting. We can come back and maybe catch her on the way. Well, she probably actually won't be that fast. Homie, Sam, Pam, Shane. That sounds correct, yeah. Be lurking while still going through the Price of Perfection VODs? No worries, I respect the lurk them. You know, it's been a while. If you're lurking in stream today, can you drop a seven in chat for me? Drop drop a quick little seven in chat. If you're lurking, possibly doing chores, possibly exercising, possibly doing homework or work work, or maybe you are playing a game of your own, playing your own incarnation of Stardew Valley. Yo, look at all these lurkers. Look at the, there's so many lurkers in chat here. Oh my gosh, we got Rid Ridley Ball. Ridley Baldoff, Sleepless and Sandy, Star Pop, Maki Rose, Jalopy, Catherine Adams, Amanda Diaz Bianchi, Sleepy, Sleepy Chase is on YouTube, Xavia, Frog's Legs, o Jelly Oceana, Bay Owned, Owl, Bailey, Maggie W, Roch Kator, Agent Spicy Panda, Stacy, Hannah. Oh my gosh. Freya is supposed to be lurking, but, <laughs> but did not drop the seven. We got so many lurkers in chat today. So many lurkers, I, I can't even name them all. Yo, lurkers, appreciate you. Get some hearts in chat for our lurkers, heart emojis, or argon love if you got it. I appreciate you, you're the lifeblood and the backbone of the stream. And sleepless insanity, those hearts are for you as well, because you just gifted me five memberships. You gifted five memberships to the community. Thank you, thank you for that. I greatly appreciate the generosity. You gotta, you gotta take the time to... Gotta take the time every now and again to to appreciate the the community. That's for sure. 
Y'all rock. Lurkers, active chatters, VOD watchers, and otherwise. Thank you so much for making this uh, one of the funnest things. One of the one of the funnest jobs around. Not even a job, really. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a job, honestly. So, there you go. There you go, Leia. And Sleepless and Sandy with two more gifted memberships as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for the generosity and this and the support. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Y'all are the best. Seven gifted subs. I see what you did there. <laughs> the ultimate seven from the lurkers. Seven gifted subs. That's so good. Thank you, Sleepless Insanity. That's awesome. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Really? You wanted exactly iridium quality goat cheese. Honestly, I can't say I blame you. Found some wild mushrooms over the weekend. Keep your nose to the ground and you'll find some mushrooms yourself, I'm sure of it. Girl, I got a whole cave of mushrooms waiting for me at home. Alright. Alright, Leia aficionados, I know you're out there, I know you're listening. Because there, there are many of you. What's a good day to go out? Pri prior to having two hearts with Leia when I can just like go into her cabin. What's a good day to go out and catch her? Does she come out early any days or is she always a late riser? We might have we might have to end up waiting waiting around for her for a bit, but are there any good days to go out and catch her? Today is the earliest. Monday she er, 11 a.m. is the earliest she comes out. Tuesday at 11. So she also... Monday and Tuesday? That's wild, man. I guess she's just busy on the... I guess she's just a busybody at home. I don't know. Working on her... Uh, working on her art projects there. Not Tuesday? 4 p.m. most days? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bro, okay, hold on. Wait, the, the Leia wiki page loaded. I need to confirm this with my own... With my own eyes and sensibilities. Maybe this is why I don't have her schedule down. Alright, rainy day, Friday, and Saturday. She does not leave home until 4 p.m. Monday, she leaves at 11. All other days, so that's going to be Tuesday and on onwards. She let's see, she walks to the east. Sculpts in her cottage. At she leaves at noon. She leaves at noon on Tuesday. On Tuesday. On like her normal schedule for fall, quote unquote. She leaves at at noon. As long as it's not Friday, Saturday, or raining, she'll leave at noon or earlier. Okay. That is valuable intel. Perfect. Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, leaves at noon if not raining. Perfect. All right. Lock it in. Once I get two hearts with her, can I go into her... Uh, can I just go into her cottage whenever, or do I have to wait for like 9, 9 p- not, not 9 p.m., 9 a.m. or something like that? What time is the aerobics class then? I don't think Leia goes to the aerobics class, does she? 10 a.m. is when her cabin opens. Leia does not conform to the standard Stardew Valley schedule that many other villagers have. And we love that for her, honestly. She's kind of based. I can't... Is, wait, is Leia girl bossing right now? People love Leia for a reason. She she marches to the beat of her own drum. You can tell just by her schedule. It's, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. Alright, well, we gotta bide time until noon here, I guess. <laughs> Have a good one there, Savon. Thanks for hanging out. Do a quick little trash run here. Is there anything else we can do to bide the time while I... while I wait for Leia to come out? I can check help wanted quests, I guess. Could get one from Leia. No such luck, but... I'll accept it, I guess. 720 gold, is that what it said? That's pretty good. Pretty good for mere mortals who might need who might not have built a gold clock yet. 
give homie a gift. I guess there's no reason not to give homie a gift. You're, you're not wrong about that. All I've got right now is iridium quality goat cheese. I don't know if uh, I don't know if homie would like that. I guess I can go just browse the shelves of Joja Mart. Nope, it, they don't open until 9 a.m. Why did I pay you so much money, Joja Mart, you, if you don't even open at like 8 a.m.? What the heck? What's up with these crab pots? Don't. It's better not to ask, honestly. You've never built a gold clock? Honestly, I don't blame you. <laughs> it is a... It is a time commitment, that is for darn sure. So I'll just do a quick little bit of, of living hack grinding here. Museum Grackries, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker, by the way. Looking like a diamond in the rough. Thank you, I appreciate it. Welcome back, Lightning. We are currently on the 15th goal of the stream. For those who are just catching up right now, this is goal number 15 of the entire stream. And uh, and we've finally been stymied by a more long-form goal. So, <laughs> so welcome to the waiting game. It's all right. Like I said, if we're going to have to befriend anybody, at least it's one of the marriage candidates who has only eight hearts to, to work through. It's not so bad. Plus, you know, Leia. I like Leia. I don't think it's controversial to say that Leia's a pretty cool, fun, interesting character. She's got a lot of good things going for her. Put my squirrel back, please. It is blackberry season, that's true. I could go, I could go hunting down some blackberries. I could also fix, fix up some of my paths and stuff here, I guess, while I wait. But maybe I'll save that for, for next week when we have to wait again anyway. I have, have I ever punched her ex during the heart event? I don't think I've ever taken that route, honestly. <laughs> I, I don't think I have. At least I don't remember having ever done so. Do you lose friendship points for that? Or does or is... Because I feel like Leia wouldn't like it. <laughs> but but I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong here. You don't lose friendship points for it. Both options are neutral. I woke up this morning, and I chose violence then. If I don't, Leia does. Do I want? Do I really want to steal the moment from her then? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we feel in the moment once we get there. We got a little ways to go before we even have to worry about that. Yo, wait, it's noon! It's noon. Okay, I gotta go... Go find her. These mushrooms out of here. I can see it as preventing her from getting arrested. By getting arrested myself? It's a bold strategy, but it just might work. Alright. She has already left her cabin. Where does she go? She goes over this way. She goes over this way somewhere. There she is. She's walking through the graveyard. Quick little graveyard cheese for you. Enjoy. I wonder if I can make a collage out of dried leaves. They're just so colorful, I can't help but think of potential for art projects. That's the artist mentality right there. You're constantly looking everywhere for for inspiration and ideas. True artiste to that one. Plot twist, she's on Ginger Island. I didn't even think about that. We did we haven't closed the resort. She could go to Ginger Island at any point. <laughs> I might throw off our plans here. Alright, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Oh, my mushrooms are over here. 
for some reason or another. Old habits die hard, what can I say? And I sleep. So how much does that even get us? Those two gifts and two talks, that gets us one full heart. Should we do that one more time and then we're we're smooth sailing in theory. We just have we have two hearts from there. Unless the decay knocks us just barely below two hearts, which is always possible. I can go close the resort now. I like living dangerously. That's one thing you'll come to know about me, is that I, I like to live on the edge. Never tell me the odds. Is it random who goes to Ginger Island when? There's like sets of people that go to Ginger Island together a lot of the time. But uh, in general, it's kind of random, yeah. In your head, Leia gets upset when you punch your ex because she wanted to do it. <laughs> I think that's good head cannon. Chad, I wanted to talk about this. Why do people get phone anxiety? Like anxiety from having to make a phone call or talk on the phone with somebody? And I'm not speaking from place of ignorance because I also get this, but I don't know why because the other day, I had to make... Well, it's, ac it's actually been kind of a long time coming. There was, like, there was this phone call that I had to make that I was, like, putting off for a long time. And I was just, like, I kept... Anytime I kept thinking about it, I was, like, I don't want to... I don't want to make the phone call. I don't want to make the phone call. It's, it's stressing me out. And then I finally, the other day, I finally made the phone call. I was on the phone for, like, two minutes, and it was done. And it was super easy. And I was, like, why was I... Why did I put myself through so many, like... Like, like a couple weeks of like thinking about it and stressing about it and worrying about it for literally like no reason. <laughs> and I would say, I would do it again. I probably will do it again. I don't, I don't know why my brain is so averse to it. The unexpected of the other line. I guess that's true. I guess you never know what you're going to get on the other line, but you can always like, you know, you can always hang up. <laughs> Imagine because it's because you can't look at the person. I guess yeah, the lack of being able to like tell body language or facial expressions or anything like that is definitely makes for a, a more unnatural conversation. And you don't have the extra barrier of like removal that uh, like texting or social media or something like that gives you. You're still like hearing their voice, so it's like you're interacting with them. I mean, you're interacting with them in real time, and in like a very, in like a personal way, you're like talking directly to them, but you can't see anything about them. I don't know if that even tracks though, because I still get the same kind of anxiety with like a video call too, which I know obviously seeing someone on a video call is not the same as seeing them in in real life and being able to formulate your conversation around that, but but still. Uh, Sunday, as long as it's not raining, so it's a good day to go out. Okay, we can, we can go out today. Your friend Leia. Sunday, Sunday and Monday is a fine combination of days to do this. For a lot of people, it's the level of responsibility. Scheduling a doctor's appointments when they're used to, Yeah, I guess that, that definitely is, is a factor in it, for sure. Like, having to do those responsibilities that... When, it, when you were a kid, you didn't have to worry about it as much, so growing to become comfortable doing those responsibilities and making those phone calls can be a little intimidating for sure. I've definitely been there. Your motto for life is get it done now so you don't worry about it later, and it's helped a lot. I'm trying to incorporate that sort of mentality into my life as well, but it's um, it's not always that easy. But it is true that generally, like, the things you worry about, the actual act of worrying about them is a lot worse and a lot more stressful than just, like, doing it and getting it getting it over with. A lot, a lot of the time, that is true. It's 
you know, that is that classic, like, rip off the band-aid mentality, right? Taxes. Bro, I'm so jealous of countries that, like, aren't there, like, there's, like, quite a few countries out there where, like, you don't have to do your taxes yourself, right? Don't you just, like, s like, you don't even have to send anything in? Like, the doesn't, like, the government just, like, take care of that for you? UK, if you're not self-employed. Well, I gotta be careful. I don't want to accidentally pick the crayfish up. <laughs> I'm honestly so jealous of uh, <laughs> of countries where you because like I mean I've done my taxes obviously I've 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 done them for for several years and it never gets easier or more fun or more or less stressful to do them I'm always worried that I'm gonna do something wrong and then the tax man's gonna come banging on my door and take me off to prison forever because I forgot to fill in a single box that I didn't even realize was important. Your income right now is so low that you don't have to pay taxes. It's got its it's got its advantages. It's got its advantages. It's pros and cons for sure. Pardon me, my little my little cow friend Axiom. I'm just trying to put down some paths here. 94 months. Holy moly. We gotta have like we're closing in on having some of these animals for more than a hundred months. <laughs> What a world, dude. Fibonacci with 73 months? That's mind-boggling. You just go to H&R Block? Yeah, I mean, H&R Block and other tax services like that, they definitely, you know, they exist for a reason. They exist to make your life a lot easier when it comes to filing your taxes, but at the same time, it's, um... It can be a little expensive, for sure. And honestly, I'm at a point in my life where I don't think filing taxes is... hard enough... for me, or stressful. Like, it's stressful, and I, and I hate it. I hate every aspect of it, basically. As many people do. But I don't hate it enough... that I'm willing to pay someone else to do it for me. Not yet. It's free at H&R Block? Not for me, it wasn't. <laughs> I, I went to H&R Block one year to to do my taxes and to get caught up on some things because I had some I had some things to 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 work with. And I'm not going to tell you how much how much it cost me, but it was it was a little it shook me a little bit. I was definitely shooketh. H&R Block is not stacked with accountants, and they make mistakes. You telling me H&R Block is just, like, normal dudes? Like, just people? They're like, yeah, I got an A- in my 10th grade math class. I think I can do taxes for other people and take their financial situation into my hands. They probably have a more rigorous screening process than that. I don't want to, you know, say anything untoward here, but... There's a lot of good places to walk around here, don't I know it? I've I've walked them all many a times, my friend. You're not self-employed, so maybe that's the difference. Self-employment definitely definitely throws a wrench into things, yeah. They get training, but they aren't professionals. I have to imagine they would, like, have to get training. You know, just like... I mean, just like any other job you get training for, obviously. But, you know, if I was well enough off, I'd probably just want to, like, hire... a proper account... a proper accountant to do my taxes, rather than... rather than worry about any of that. That's, I think that's the, that's an ideal situation, 
it's just have an accountant to do it for you if you if you can swing it and you have the you know financial security to do so i think that's a pretty good play Uh, yeah, we're waiting out. We're waiting to waiting the day out here. Wow. Your dad is an accountant and hired another one just to look over his stuff. That makes sense. I feel I feel like accountants are probably that's prob that's probably common amongst amongst accountants because accountants know how complex things can get, so they, they know that better than anybody, so they always want to have someone double check. It's like, you know, when someone goes to court and, like, if, if you're a lawyer who was, like, going to court for some reason, you probably would not represent yourself because you know that representing yourself never goes well. You, you would always hire, hire a lawyer to represent you. Benny, welcome on in. Making a Minecraft mod to learn some basic Java. That's a fun, that's a fun way to learn it. I hope it goes well for you. Like how male people get their mail delivered? I never even thought about that. <laughs> I guess that would be the case, wouldn't it? That, uh... Like, you can't... Like, if you work in a mail room or, like, the post office or something like that, you can't just, like, take your mail home, can you? Maybe you can? I don't know. Like, it has to go through the system, just like everybody else's, but once it gets to a certain point, surely you could just, like, grab it. If you get- if you- you can't? You got- it has to be delivered to you? Can you deliver- can- are you allowed to deliver your own mail? Mail carriers rise up? Hello there, Beezy. Hello, hello. Sandy and Emily will destroy the wood chippers. What time does Emily get out there? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, we can we can manage this. I did say hi, BZ. Well technically I said hello, but you know. Apples and oranges. We got artifact spots out here. Yo, gold relic? That's rare. Alright. Welcome back, Lisa. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to stop Emily from trampling my beautiful wood chipper display. But I will have to leave to catch Leia around 11 a.m., so. So we'll be, with, we'll be without a guard around that time. How far along are we? Not too far yet. We are currently at just shy of, like, two hearts. Like, one more good talking and gift should get us the two hearts, I think. I'm so unreasonably anxious waiting for Emily to show up at the at the desert here. I don't know when she does. I don't know what the schedule looks like, but she does come out to the desert on Sandy's birthday. I don't know what path she takes either, but I got to I, I got to be ready. I got to be ready to move my wood chippers. Sure sure Leia would love the art installation we've done here. I don't know, she tends to work with wood a lot, so she probably has a lot of great care for it. I don't know if she would appreciate the tyrannical obsession with uh, with wood chippers here. Shouldn't we just pick them up? This is more fun. Alright, I'm going. I'm heading home. It's more fun living on the edge. I, I wanted to see if I could, like, catch them before, like, catch the wood chippers before she, like, walked into them. Alright, is Emily on the way to the bus? Oh no. Oh no, Emily, stop! Stop! No, you can't do this to me! Alright, I gotta I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. If I get if I get to Leia in time and then get to bed, then maybe they won't be able to destroy any of my lovely chippers. My chipper chippers. Where is she? There she is, there she is, okay. Enjoy. 
I had a huge plate of wild mushrooms and eggs for breakfast today. Don't make me hungrier than I already am, girl. Keep your nose to the ground and you'll find yourself some mushrooms. That is two hearts. That is two hearts. Good to know. We have two we have access to the two heart event then. When it, where does the two heart event take place, if I may be so bold? Is it in her cottage? I feel like most of her heart events like take place in her cottage. Her cabin when she's home. Okay, we can take advantage of that then. I can do that. I can do that next week when I need to go and give her a gift anyway. Alright, I'm off to bed. I'm gonna hope that our wood chippers are still alive and intact. I don't know the path that Emily takes when she gets to the desert. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared to go check the desert, but I need to know. I need, I need to just rip off the band-aid. I'm, I'm, I have a bad feeling about this one, chat. Little cherry bomb in the mail. Thank you. Please, please show me, show me something good here. Emily, what have you done? Emily, what have you done? No! Two good wood chippers lost. And for what? For nothing. For nothing. There were two wood chippers right here. They were so young. They were so young. They did such good work for us. And now, now they're gone forever. She literally just trampled them. O seven. 7 7 for the wood chippers we lost along the way. Wait, I know what to do. I know I know what to do here. We have we have to make a memorial. We have to we have to we have to recognize their memory and the work they put in for us. I don't think we ever got actual syrup out of those wood chippers, those particular two, but we uh but they were still part of the equation. Punish with bananas. <laughs> I don't even know Emily. We're gonna take some I think I can make wooden signs, right? I can make wooden signs. Wood signs, yeah. We'll craft some wood signs as they would have wanted it. And what do I put on the signs? Can I put wood chippers themselves on the signs? I honestly don't know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna put some I'm gonna put some maple syrup on the signs in their honor. In the arms of an angel. Here we go. Honorary wood chippers. <laughs> Honorary wood chippers. It looks so silly. <laughs> what is this? I love it. I love it. The tiny wood chippers on the signs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Never forget. Never, never forget the wood chippers in memoriam. Every time we come to the desert from now on, we'll we'll remember. We'll remember this this tragic day. The worst part is that next year she's just gonna go and stop those memorials. Not if we stop her first. Not if we not if we get there beforehand. You know, the Stardew Valley Fair is today. It's a good reminder. Exclamation point Sal. Sal Muntz posted a video earlier today of the uh, the Stardew Valley Fair Invitational, a charity event of which I was a part, where I competed against other Stardew Valley content creators for uh, for money for charity. So definitely go check it out if you have not yet. It was a very fun time. I'm good to go to bed here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Go do the fishing minigame. 
I've done more than enough fishing in my time. <laughs> she won't destroy the signs if we go to bed early enough on the day. We, we stayed out late that day because we had to meet up with Leia. But most of the time, we should be good to just hopefully sleep through the day. Every fairy always stress to get the highest score possible at the at the Grange display. I don't even know what the highest score possible is, like mathematically speaking, at the Stardew Valley Fair. I usually just focus on on winning. Uh, if I can get first place, that I'm content with that. I, I haven't mathematically optimized it. Too hard event. We'll catch her too hard event when we go to. When we go to befriend her next week, because we're going to be heading down that way anyway. What items will get you to 124? Is 124 the max? Without iridium quality fer without the iridium fertilizer, the highest possible is only 123. Lisa has done the math. R slash they did the math. That's wild. Winning is not seeing Pierre win. Or seeing Pierre not win, I guess. The one thing I always remember is as a as a nice little sort of sneaky way to win at the Stardew Valley Fair, if you're just looking to win, just looking to get first place, I learned this one from an easy li easy Lily video. Is that if you put nine iridium quality chubs into the Grange display, you will get first place. All you, all you need is nine Iridium quality chubs, and you're good. <laughs> I don't know how the math works out on that one, but it just does. Mayor Lewis just loves, just loves himself that fish, I guess. I don't know. The fair page on the wiki is very comprehensive. Shouldn't surprise me, I guess. The, the wiki in general is quite comprehensive. It's only been a few times where I've, where I've noticed things that were sparse or lacking. I feel like the purple shorts should make you win automatically as hush money. It, they kind of do, don't they? When you put the purple shorts in, they kind of make you win automatically. You don't get the same amount of tokens as you would for actually winning, but you get like more than you for like second place, I feel like. So it's, it's not a bad way to go about it. Hold on, I need to take a quick hydration break. You know how sometimes you just like sit back after you've been like focused on something for so long and you just like realize like, oh, I'm like really thirsty or like really hungry or, <laughs> or something like that. Is you know, you're so laser focused. I just had that moment right now. You get 750 tokens for the shorts? I thought so, yeah. Which sounds like it's... I think that's more than second place, honestly. Or maybe it's not. I don't remember how much you get for second place in the fair. Because for first place, you get a thousand, right? And for second place, I don't know, maybe you get like 800 for second place. Maybe it is more. Classic ADHD problem. I don't know if I have ADHD, but I definitely do have a tendency to hyperfixate sometimes. Bro, look at this fridge. We are gonna be, we're gonna be like running out of room in this fridge before too long with how much iridium ore we got in here. Holy moly! All right, it is Sunday. So now I should be able to go into Leia's house when she opens up, which is, according to chat, I believe it was 10 a.m. 
10 a.m. is the earliest I can go into Leia's house now. I don't know if I can actually, like, uh, like if I go and check her house right now, if it'll tell me the actual time I'm allowed in. Or if it'll just say, like, it's locked, dot, dot, dot. Pants, dot, dot, dot. Can we ship Iridium more? I believe we can, actually. I think that's one of our, uh, was one of our goals previously. Yeah, we've shipped 190. Every day we gain fewer and fewer, or we gain more and more possibilities, and we have fewer and fewer limitations. Hit Mace, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Joining us for a lovely, fancy befriending goal. Everyone's favorite artiste, Leia. One of the few remaining marriage candidates, actually. I think we have, well, we have, we still have to befriend Penny and Emily. Are they the only other marriage candidates that we haven't befriended yet? Penny, Emily, and Leia. Yeah, that's, there it is. We are closing in. The world is almost our oyster. Oh, I should be checking for help wanted quests as well. On the off chance, you never know. Today is not our lucky day. Unless. No. <laughs> I don't know what I was hoping for out of that, but... Probably like a dish of the day, I guess. What are these bone fragments doing out here? Dusty, you been chewing on bones out here again? His eyes just flashed bright red. Did you see that? Spooky. My heart wants it to be that I can get in here at 9 a.m. I'm going to will it into being, even though my sources all tell me it's 10 a.m. Shoot. I was hoping I could. I had a strong enough willpower to, like, force a Mandela effect situation. Or ornamental fan. <laughs> That's unlikely. Happy to have it, though. We're gonna have a sec- we can get a second, uh, wedding veil with that one, right? No, not the wedding veil, it's like the bridal- bridal top that you get from the ornamental fan. Don't know why I would want a second one, I don't think it would fit Iota, but... It's a sign I should marry Leia. <laughs> it's a bit of a reach, but I- I respect the, uh, I respect the gumption. Hello, Leia. Wait, let me in. She's not home! <laughs> what the heck, dude? She she juked me. She must be at Ginger Island? She must be at the doctor? I don't, they, people don't go to Ginger Island that early. Do they? You did hear a door open? I figured that was like Marnie. Did she go to the resort or did she go to the doctor? She's not here. Okay, she must be at the resort then. Alright, fair enough. Well played, Leia. Well played. Dodging your too hard event. I see how it is. Excuse me, Mayor Lewis. I'm walking here. I'm walking here! I can't believe she- she got- she walked out the door in like the one microsecond I wasn't even looking. I came for the sound of the ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? You are a liar. You came for the island resort and the pina coladas therein. Should I go close the resort? I don't think I need to close the resort, honestly. If if I'm waiting around for for Leia outside her house, I should be able to to catch her like that, regardless of whether the resort is open or not. Do we have that recipe from Gus? He gives you the... which one? The tropical curry recipe from the resort? I'm pretty sure we do, because I th yeah, I think that was actually a goal previously, wasn't it? It's hard to keep it all straight these days with how many goals we've completed, but I believe we've done that, yeah.
ornamental fan. What am I going to do with you, you little ornamental fan? I could just, I kind of just want to, like, put you somewhere. You're just kind of, like, nice to look at, honestly. We'll grab a little table real quick. Spur of the moment decision here. Give me a, a little birch end table. We'll drop it right in our gaming room down here. There you go. Little fan to to fan off Mr. Gourmand Frog here. <laughs> I like it. it. It is ornamental, that's true. It's right in the name, I guess. Makes sense. You're screaming internally from me calling calling her Leia. Like Princess Leia. It was only a matter of time. I was I was waiting. I'm surprised it took this long, honestly, for for to come back around to the discussion of Leia's pronunciation. <laughs> anytime, anytime the conversation pivots to Leia, I get lambasted. I got I got raked over the coals for for my pronunciation. Even though I've had confirmation from a person whose name is actually Leia in chat previously. That it is a valid pronunciation. And until I'm told otherwise, until I hear her name spoken in the Stardew Valley movie and it is officially canonized, I'm, I'm a Leia main. I'll be honest, it drives me crazy. I can't force myself to say Leah, I'm sorry. It just doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue. It doesn't... It doesn't mesh in my brain. I need a smallmouth bass to rub on my sore nose. Alex. <laughs> you know, Stardew Villagers be Stardew Villagers. What can I say? You can only be bap like befuddled so many times by those. You're on my side. Thank you, Star Pup. Good to know I've got I've got an ally or two around here with the with the Leia pronunciation. It might be Lee, the H is silent. I haven't heard that argument before, but it actually makes sense in my brain. Bro, it's pronounced Leia? That's what I'm saying. I would ask Siri to help to pronounce it for us, but I already we've done that in the past. I'm pretty sure she's been corrupted by the by the masses. You want to hear what Concerned Abe says out loud? I wonder if I, Concerned Abe's probably been asked about it before. He's been asked about like the like Mister, the pronunciation of Mister Cheese name. So, pronunciation is a strangely hot button issue in the Stardew community. Leia, Leah, Chi, Key, Qi. What's your Stardew Valley pronunciation hot take? You always say it is Mr. Key. I can accept Mr. Key. That's I think that's the way I used to say it, so. Mr. QI. Just don't call them skeleton caverns and you're and you'll stay on my good side. Pronounced tomato, not tomato. Or, or is it scratch that, reverse it? She got a nice little cabin in here. Hi, Beatrix. Come in, come in. Hello, I'm here to befriend you. Have a goat cheese. Toss. I'm just working on this sculpture here. Come here, watch this. Watching. Chat, watch closely. Ooh, that's some fine craftsmanship right there. Look at how she swings that hammer. I'm revealing the essence of the wood. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. Dot, dot, dot. I actually prefer the look of raw, unadulterated, unadulterated wood. Creepy, may I have a kiss? Why Why is this even here, man? Why is this even here? Concerned Dave knew that people would be simping for Leia from day one. 
Open parentheses, creepy. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I think either of these are fine. I prefer the look of raw, unadulterated wood. Is this... I think either of these are okay, right? Is, is one of these better for friendship points? Leia Scholars? Number one is the most... is the... is the highest hearts. I'm taking your word for it, a tendency to flounce. What? Oh yeah, that's absolutely right. We got her in the end. She had me in the first half, not gonna lie. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has a great artistic potential. Although I have to admit, it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. You seem to be doing fine so far. You've managed to make it 27 long years living down here in this cabin, so so you're doing something right. Uh, Why don't you have an art show in town, or why don't you sell your art on the internet? I think I usually pick art show here. Does it matter that much? Do you get the art show either way? I, I, I don't remember how this goes. I think this is a, a decision that like impacts stuff later, though. Art show? The people love their art show. You like internet instead? Less cringe? We embrace the cringe around here. Show me the art show. Interesting. I guess that could set the wheels in motion to making Pelican Town a true art destination. But what if no one likes my sculptures? I'd be crushed. Not possible. But look at this mastery. I'll have to think about it. No worries. No rush. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. Wait, no. I forgot to give her her goat cheese. Goat cheese. Say cheese. An art show for the whole village. That's a bold idea. It's a wooden sculpture Leia's working on. It has a wonderful cedar smell. Ooh, that's nice and nice and visceral. I like that. It's a work in progress. It's a stack of Leia's paintings. It's mostly landscapes and studies of nature. I do love a good landscape painting. Living off the land, a practical guide. Hey, I've watched that show before. Are there different different things on either side of the bookcase here? How to deal with overbearing people. Foreshadowing. No messages. She keeps up to date on it. You know, she's she's living the minimalist lifestyle out here, and I, I love that for her. This is very cozy. I like it. Alright. Um, we're good to go, right? We're good to go? They're pixels. The art quality is open to the imagination. I do love that about this art style. I like, you know, you got you got to make you got to make the most with uh, with the, within the limitations of your craft. When it comes to art styles in video games, I feel like pixel art is always going to be my. It's always going to be just my my top tier. I love I love good pixel art style. It's a big part of why I love Stardew. Is the the pixel art in this game is is like S++ tier. It's so good. Alright, it's raining, but that shouldn't matter for us. Uh, oh wait, no, I've already gone in and given Leia two gifts this week, right? Yeah, so we don't need to go again. Three, three hearts, not too bad. Not too bad at all. At four hearts, go to her cabin and pick the top two options for her, for the conversation. We're getting ahead of the game. We're, we're min-maxing the conversations here. Let's go. Is this Symphony of the Night music? This song you're currently listening to is... Um, from... I believe this is the Coral Island soundtrack. Yeah, this is Coral Island. Winter Night 1 from Coral Island. There you go. Coral Island's got some amazing music. I actually have quite a few songs of it from on the uh, on the playlist here.
Mods Flare, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. The pixel art in Stardew is so good that insane pixel counting is a solution to a simple riddle. I have no idea what you're talking about, Dark Mimi. Couldn't be me. <laughs> that said, if it were me, if it were me that did that, and it worked, wouldn't that be an amazing thing? One of her heart scenes doesn't trigger in winter, so maybe sleep now, because I still have low friendship. But, like, sleep through winter? That's not how we do things around here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to seize the moment while I have it. If one of her heart events doesn't trigger in winter, I can always trigger it at a, at a later date. It's not the end of the world. That said, I do think I'm actually... I might actually... I mean, I hate to do it. I hate to do it. I did kind of want to see this go through. But I think I'm going to have to go ahead and end the stream off here. It's a bit... It's a bit out of nowhere, I realize. But number number one, I'm hungry. Number two, I, I got to take care of a few other things today. And, uh, and that's all I got for you. Just look at looking at how long we probably still have to keep going in order to fully befriend Leia. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go ahead and leave it there. Partway through. Goal mid completion. <laughs> I gotta listen to my body. I can feel I can feel the hunger. I can feel I feel a bit of a headache coming on, so I'm gonna try and nip that one in the bud, so. <laughs> either way. Either way, we got a ton of done this stream and now we know for sure that uh, that that 14 goals is the uh is the record whether it was previously or not now it definitely is because we made sure to keep and keep in good track of that can't believe we have 14 goals today that's actually that's actually nuts and then and then leia had to come along and ruin our fun it's all right. No, no ill will towards Leia. It's the randomizer's choice at the end of the day. Either way, I digress. Thank you very much for, uh, thank you very much for joining me on this lovely leg of the Stardew Valley Perfection Randomizer. I will see you all, um, next week. Next week sometime. Usually, usually I have a stream on Friday, but today, but this week has been a bit of a, a bit of an oddball week as far as streams go. We'll get back to it on uh, probably like Monday or Tuesday next week. Hard to say. Either way, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Again, check out that video that Salmon's posted, the Stardew Valley Fair Invitational, if you haven't yet. And uh, make sure you cast your cast your votes for the Stardew Valley Awards as well. There's still time to do so. Let me. I'll even. I'll even. I'll even drop you a link here, just for convenience's sake. There you go. Make sure. Make sure you get your votes in before. January 31st, I believe, is what was said earlier, so. Still plenty of time to make your voice known. Either way. Thank you all for the wonderful stream today. Hope you had fun. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And I will see you all on the flip side. This is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and good night, everybody. Bye-bye.